Alright. Okay, Khan, Shalom. Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites. We come out we come out every weekend to preach the, the word. We come to teach the uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that they are God's chosen people. Right. They are the uh, true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. Okay, but uh First of all, we want to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rokakadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. So we're going to go open up in the spirit. We're going to go into the spirit of prophecy. Rip it up, brother. This is Matthew 24 and 14. It reads, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness. What gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached throughout the whole world? The one we're talking about right now, the good news, the spirit of prophecy, talking about Yahweh Shai coming back to destroy this uh, this kingdom of the Edomites. That's that's the spirit we're in, and that's what's being proclaimed throughout the whole world right now. Everybody right now in the world knows about the Hebrew Israelites. You got celebrities talking about it, and these are things that we were talking about for many years, man. Starting right. on from our apostles on down. But this is what makes the scriptures true. Does the brother have that script where it says, when the rich man uh, speak it, everybody listens? The Bible yeah, and I was just on that over there. Yeah. Ah, well, that's the spirit. Yeah, yeah. So it says, uh, I'll run it back. Matthew 24 and 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. That means throughout the four corners of the whole world. That's why you got brothers waking up in Africa, the old continent, Europe, Asia. You know, brothers are everywhere now. Uh, uh, Central, South America, <laughs> North America. It's a global thing. This is the biggest phenomenon in the whole world, man. Go for it. Read. Uh, and then shall the end come. And then shall the end come. What end? The nuclear destruction. The atrocities, the calamities that the Lord talked about. That's what's coming now. Why? Because the word has reached to the, uh, to the four corners of the earth. You have that scripture, brother? Did our brother get it? I got, got it. it right here, man. Okay, can you get that? Ezekiel 13 and 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. Kyrie Irving, Kanye West, all these different celebrities that are talking about the Hebrew Israelites. Those are rich people. Those are people that are seen as a, a high standard in this world. People listen to these people, but they don't listen to who? To the prophets. The ones that have the true message. Go for it. You know, I, I want to say this too. You know what I'm saying? So they just have that reputation. But are they out here putting in work right. like you're seeing us do right now? They wouldn't do that. You see, you see what I'm saying? They fall under that parable with, with Yahweh Shah was, was, was speaking about, man, about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the rich man wanted to build more. The Lord basically called him a fool. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So they're looking to profit off of this whole Hebrew is like that. But that's not what it's about, man. Yep. Let me continue. Okay. So when a rich man speaking, every man hold of his tongue. And look what he said, they extol it to the clouds. Right. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Yeah, and that's true, because everybody now talking about, oh my God, did you hear Kanye? Yeah. Kanye said, we're the Hebrew Israelites. Oh my right. God, we're God's chosen people. Yeah. Shit, we've been telling you that shit. Right. But hey, we're not on that, uh, on that social standard in, in the society. That's why people don't listen to what we have to say. And you but, know they walk by the camps. You, know, oh, yeah. so you walk by the camps. You saw what's out here. We don't look pretty or sexy up here, yep, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? This is raw and uncut right here. Yep, yep. You see what I'm saying? And, you, and, you, and that basically you know, offended a lot of you people. Yep. You yep. see what I'm saying? But again, like we were saying earlier, these so-called celebrities are not going to come out here to the highways and edges. They're not, they're not going to do this. Okay. They're just going to be behind, oh, behind uh, the TV screen. Right? Oh, Lord, you see, behind the computer. Yeah. Hey, I got another scripture real quick. If I may get this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ezekiel 33 and 1. This is what you're supposed to be doing, man. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow up the trumpet and warn the people. Hey, and that's what we're doing right now, brothers. We're blowing the trumpet. We're telling you that the sword is coming. We're telling you that Esau's coming in with that martial law, that, um, can we say that? Uh, Esau's oh, yeah. coming with that mark of the beast and he's bringing hell with them, man. We're telling you these things. We're telling you to prepare for what's coming. Because right. if you don't prepare right now, hey, it's going to be too late for you. You're going to get caught like a chicken without a head. And you don't want that, man. The Lord said in Proverbs 1 and 26 that when what you fear comes, he's going to laugh at you, man. Because yeah. there was a time of repenting and you didn't take it. 
And can, can I say this real quick? Because the brother was asking if we know about if we can say the market police. Now, if you if you see it now, you know we're saying things in code, man. So if you if you're not paying attention, if you're not listening, you're not gonna know what the hell we're speaking about, man. You, you see what I'm saying? Because we're being censored for certain things, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't, you know, like brother was saying earlier, man, like hey, you you, you better get with it or get left behind. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like like the scripture says, because we're not gonna be out going going back to Amos eight and eleven. You're not gonna see us out here. You know, pretty much longer, man. Yep, you know right. what I'm saying? I, I, things are moving quickly, man. Yep. You know, so you, you people better hearken while you, you know while, while, while we're out here, man. Yeah, man. You got the government talking about it. You know, we need to work on this threat of domestic terrorist and yeah. shit. Who are they talking about, bro? Right. They're talking about us. We're the only lethal threat to this government structure, man. Because why we're bringing the true message, the spirit of prophecy, man. We're telling you that this kingdom is about to fall. And there's going to be a celestial power that's going to break the heavens and do it, man. That's, right. that's very hard for people to suck in, man. Yeah. But we're about to live that. Yeah, yeah that's good thing This is uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 1 and uh, verse, uh, start at verse 25. Because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men, yeah. and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. Mm -hmm. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Yeah, man, so like Apostle Tahar always mentions it, man. We don't need no Jay-Z's. We don't need no 50 cents, you know, to push out this work. We don't need no damn Kanye West, man. That's right. Those niggas are going to get destroyed, bro. Uh. Kyrie Irving, cool, they're doing something good. But they're not doing the true work, man. If you really want to do the true work, you got to be out here, man. Week in and week out. Doing videos throughout the week. Coming out of the highways and byways to preach, man. But the Most High has chosen the foolish things. We are the, the foolish things of the world. Because when we came out of the world, we were looked at as nothing. Oh, you guys are lame. You guys are clowns, drugs, <coughs> good for nothing people. That's what the Most High chose. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's the same attitude they had towards the disciples, man. Or they called them unlearned men. That's right. You know, men that that, that uh, basically weren't worthy to, to even be in, 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 in their, uh, you know, their uh, uh, how to say, in the rope and, and basically around them, man. Yeah. You know, they're like, this is not your place to, to speak these words. Yeah. You see, but the Heavenly Father put that, that, that Holy Spirit on them, man, and that, that basically trumps over anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and basically, the Lord, the way He, he uh, uh, did this thing, man, He basically had it so that it's in cold, man. Only the, only the elect are going to see through it, man, and be able to receive it. You know? yeah, that's why people get amazed when they see us out here preaching these these uh, these, uh, these good news, man. Yeah. How are you guys able to go to all those verses? Because the Spirit is working with us, man. That's right. that's the right. Lord chose us to do the work. That's right. We, we, we might not speak the best. We don't have the best vocabulary at times and shit. But the Lord chose us. The message is getting across. That's why you got brothers out here on this side, man. Because they're coping with this, man. They're assimilating themselves to it. Yeah, I like how you said that because, you know, we just pull out the, the scripture. It says, and if the, if the poor man stumbled, you see what I'm saying? They would help to overthrow him. Mm -hmm. yep. So you, you want to hear the rich man speak. You want to hear that great orator. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, just real fluent vocabulary, man. Right, right. But check this out. Can I get the scripture real quick? Okay, uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 27. But the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Mm. And the Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. So we are weak. We can you know, especially when you're trying to come up against this doctrine, yeah. against this gospel, the good news, like the brother was saying when he opened up. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you can confound us with this word, man. Right? The Lord said his words are, are sharp, are, are quick and powerful, man. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, you got a perfect example right there with this dude, uh, Bo Cam Malone, man. Yeah. He's been trying for years to cash on the apostles. Yeah. Yeah. He's been trying to yeah. fucking overturn this doctrine. What has he gained off of that? Nothing, bro. Because like the scriptures say, there's nothing you can do uh, against the truth before the truth man so all that energy you're putting into this uh, work to try to uh confound the truth bro you're doing the contrary to it man that's right, that's right. Yeah. Well, this is uh, first john 2 and 20 but ye have an unction from the holy one mm. and ye know all things can you go into that word unction on the blue letter for one shot we had a scripture too good you can bring it out uh, this is the book of isaiah so long again. It's the book of Isaiah 42, and um, look at a couple of verses on me. This is a, a Isaiah 42. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, 
mine elect in whom my soul delighteth, I have put my spirit upon him, he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Mm. And, and if I may say, uh, uh, the, the Lord's speaking about an elect. Okay, they're his servants. He's gonna bring, they're gonna bring forth judgment. The Lord created, uh, uh, um, you know, all of Israel, but there's a special elect within all of the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and they're gonna bring forth the judgment. You know, the, the likes of Kyrie, the likes of Kanye, like the Lord didn't really choose them. You see what I'm saying? They're, they're, they, they're working a, a specific uh, role in the story, but really it's, 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 it's through the foolishness of preaching. It's through coming out here yeah. in the highways and hedges. You gotta look like a clown out here, man. The Lord is cool with that shit, man. That's why the Lord called them sacrifice, man. Yeah. You're sacrificing what? Your, your sanity, man. Yeah. You know? Your time. Your time. You know, your your, your, your life, basically. Your life. You know, hey, Kyrie, Kyrie and them, they're, they're not willing to uh, to do all that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but it, jumping down to the fifth verse, let's say, how will thy power? Uh, he that uh, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. I, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. So it, it's speaking about uh, uh, the Lord giving a certain uh, um, elect group of men, all right, a holy priesthood, as a, as as a, as an example, as a, as an ambassador. As a, as a, you know, like spiritual John the Baptist opening the way for, for what? For other people to come get it, man. The Lord, the Lord has a, 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 whole, a priesthood, bro. Right. You see, and we're fighting against a left-handed priesthood, which is, that is, is, is uh, you know, have been building a narrative from the longest time to confound you, Jakes, man, and, and, and make you go back to sleep and, and keep you away from your power, man. Yep. You know, and the, and the Gentiles is the state of mind that your people are in. It's not talking yep. about... Uh, 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 the, the, you know the the Gentiles meaning the other nations. It's talking about the Israelites that are in the Gentile state of mind, man. You know we're we're set up through the Spirit with all humility as a light unto them, as a guide unto them, man. Mm, yeah. Hey, that makes me think about that scripture in Isaiah that the Lord shall send saviors, you know, saviors to save who the people, man, the nation, and ultimately only the elect, because we know that the elect are the only ones that are gonna you know bind themselves to this. You, you had that definition. Yeah, I got it. Can you get it? Are you done with that scripture? Yeah, yeah. Back, back. You had a scripture too, Yeah, we'll get that. And word on unction is a word on charisma. It basically goes uh anything smeared on and unguent and ointment, usually prepared by the Hebrews from oil and aromatic herbs. Ah, mm. so the so the elect were prepared by who? They were ordained by Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai right. to preach the good news. That's right. So that means that only these men are going to have the secrets of this Bible. Yeah. Only these men are going to have the uh, understanding to break these uh, these mysteries down to you, man. Go for it. It says an anointing was the inaugural ceremony for priests. So this, is, this ain't no regular type of anointing. This is a special a celestial anointing. That's right. From the found, before the foundations of the world were created, bro. Uh, uh, go for it. Hey, we're just coming back to our, our spiritual law basis, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what David talked about, you know, let my cup run, runneth over with oil, man. You know, it's basically this truth, this understanding. Yeah, the understanding. And if I may say too, like, you know, you gotta have celebrities. You know, you I mean you gotta have you gotta have you gotta have bankers, you gotta have uh, uh, drywallers, you gotta have artists and singers and so on and so forth. Yeah. Well you got prophets, man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Khan, uh, real quick, this is a. Uh, Quick precept, you know, with uh, Yahweh Shai was dealing with the rich young man in Matthew. Uh, Matthew's 19 and uh, and 21. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Yeah, and that's basically what we're living right now with these celebrities, man. They have all the possessions in the world. They can go anywhere they want. They ain't worrying about how they're going to eat tomorrow, man. Mm -hmm. They got all that. So you think they're going to let that go just to come serve the Lord? Right. No, nah, man. It, it'll be very difficult for a rich man to be able to do such a thing. That's where the Lord used that uh, analogy of that man, exactly. man. Yeah, I got another one too. Exactly. Brother, you have to go exactly what the brother brought up. You got it, brother. You probably brought it up. Oh, yeah, Luke 12, and um, I'll go straight to the point in 17. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, 
This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. So when I'm reading this, so also think about, you know, Nate and his crew. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they have so much growth. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to start building, right? Yeah. They got to start building now, man. Yeah. More people are listening and more people are going to come flocking to them. Yeah. All right, so check this out. It says, uh, and I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take, it says, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. So, right. you know, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? You're taking your ease, man. You know what I'm saying? My brothers over here, we're, hey, we're, we're suffering, but we're suffering for righteousness' sake, man. Because right. we don't want to catch hell with you fucking people when it comes. Because the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures is going to be the civility of our times, man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's that's why the scriptures is written in, in, in cold and dark sayings, like it says in uh, uh, Proverbs the first chapter, be able to interpret the, the dark sayings of the wise. Mm -hmm. See that? So keep going. Uh, 20, but the Most High said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who sh shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards the Most High. Right. You know, and that's what you see happening man with the whole IUIC but they're laying up treasures for themselves man because they're not rich towards the most high see what I'm saying because you got to confess the name out here you know let me let me get that real quick because I'm, I'm still there in that chapter hey well now that you mentioned that yeah. that's something I wish I said he said father I have confessed thy name to them that you have given man, me beautiful John yeah. 17 yeah. I love yeah. that entire uh, that's the that iconic prayer man because <laughs> that's ultimately the purpose of doing this work man confessing whose name Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Because hey, what did what did uh what did Peter do when he was a uh, 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 drowning on that on that on that ocean? He called out for Yahweh Shai, Lord, right. save me. That's right, that's right. Because that's where it's coming from. That's, it. that's right. Let me, let me grab this too. Uh, uh, Luke 12 and 8. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, right. him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels Ooh. of the Most High. Yes. Check this out. Yeah. Nine, but he that denied me before men shall be denied before the angels of the Most High. Yeah, hey, that's, that's right. That's powerful, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So we're not denying the Lord. We're telling you the true names. Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's the first begotten. Right. All right, and the Father Yahweh. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're out here. We're not telling you Most High Christ blessed and shit. Yeah, we're not right. using the same shit as, as as Kanye is using, man. Right. He says the same shit. Y'all all are saying the same fucking thing, man. Right. See what I'm saying? You both got uh, This is the book of Romans 10 and 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai, and shalt believe in thine heart that the Most High hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yep. So there's a vibration that comes with that name of Yahweh Shai, man. It moves things. It causes things to happen when that name is uh, proclaimed out. Right. You know? And we're, living a, uh, we're, we're being a living testimony of that right now, man. Because we have the name. You had more than that? It says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Mm -hmm. So it's important to confess that name out there, man. It's a very important name, the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. And that's the only name that, that, that we can call upon to be saved, man. You know? And we have that name. And right. we believe it through faith. Yeah, that's right. You know, so fuck all of you that say that, that that's not the name, man. Right. Calling on Christ and, and most high blessed. Yeah. What kind of shit is that, yeah, man? That's some demonic shit. Man. Yeah, man. I like somebody knowing my fucking name when they meet me, man. That's right. Yeah. And the Lord is the same way. That's right. And what the scripture says, he said that many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. That's exactly. right. And yep. shall yep. deceive yep. many. Yep. So all those followers that you fucking have, you're deceiving all of them, man. That's right. Because you're because you're living out prophecy, man. Like, yeah, what, right. you're like, what do you think? You know what I'm saying? 20 years from now, now everything is going to start coming from light. Right. <laughs> I'll get this real quick. This is uh, Matthew 3 and 8. It reads, bring forth, their, bring forth therefore <coughs> fruits meet for repentance. You see, and that's what the Heavenly Father is doing, man. He, he's uh, basically weighing you out. Because right here, uh, the word meat goes into the word uh, axios. Which is basically uh, a weight, having weight, having the weight of a little thing of like value worth that much. So that's what the Lord's Spirit is doing right now, man, taking the fruit out. It's just like when you go to the grocery store, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you'll pick up the yeah. different fruits and she, uh, that's just right, squeeze it a little bit. And exactly. that's basically what the Heavenly Father is doing right. with, with these uh, uh, wayward doctrines that are, that are out there, man. God. It, it's not pleasing to Him. You know, if, if, you, know you want to look at it, you know, it, it might have some mold and shit, and the Lord throws that shit out, man. You know, that's what the Lord's getting ready to do with all these groups. 
that don't represent them truly, man. Right. You know, the first thing they're not doing, you know, they're not coming with the name, man. Yeah. You know, and the, we know that in the name, there's, there's like the Philippines say, there's power in that, man. Yeah. You know, what was that scripture? Uh, uh, the, uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, oh, the yeah. righteous one is into it. Right. Right. And are safe. Right. And are safe. safe. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're safe. getting ready for a major house cleanup right now, man. You know, we're coming into that 11th hour too, man. That's how it's, that's how it's looking in the spirit. You had a scripture right here? Yeah. Uh, bro. This is uh, suffering in the, you know, in the name of the Abba Shema Hashem, you know. We, we, we out here proclaiming the name of the Abba Shema Hashem, our true power. You know what I mean? We out here suffering out here on the highways and byways making lessons for the for your Abba Shema Hashem. Sure. This is Acts 9 and uh, 15. I'm starting at 15, 17. But, but the Lord said, Yahweh Shai said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to, buy, to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him, I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And that's what we out here doing. We're out here suffering for the sake of Yahweh Shai. That's right, brother. That's right. Beautiful scripture. Hey, that's beautiful, bro. You know, even though we may look foolish to, to the average person, man, the Heavenly Father says we're supposed to warn the people, yeah. right? And that's going to come with us getting the blood off of our hands, man, which is a benefit for us. This goes, uh, this is Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation, not desire, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, right. before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So that's ultimately what we're looking for. We're seeking what? For Yahweh Shai's mercy, man. Because only he can provide that, man. And we're hoping we receive it. Okay. Psalms, Psalms 91, and I'll, I'll go straight to the point. Uh, Psalms 91 and 14. Because he has set his love upon me, mm -hmm. therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer. So, you know, in order for you to call upon the Lord, man, you, you have to know his name. Right? You see what I'm saying? But the name is not given to everybody. And we, we understand we understand that. You know, we understand, you know, people's position. You know, and I'm going to speak about IUIC and everybody else's life. We, we understand that the Heavenly Father didn't reveal his name to you. Right? You know what I'm saying? You're not, the Lord is not just going to give everybody his name. This is a small sanctuary. Right? Right. You know, going back to the, uh, uh, 2 Ezra, uh, I think it's 8 and 62. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? The, the Lord said that I, I, I have shown this to you in a few men like you. Right. See what I'm saying? The, the prophets, right? That's who the Lord has shown his name to. Let me keep going. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him yeah, and honor God. him. The long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Yeah, that trouble is definitely coming. You see what's going on in the news, the shortages and everything. You people are going to start going crazy, especially when the food supply stops. When those diesel trucks stop running, you people starve to fucking death, man. That's what your government is going to fucking do to you. Starve you out. And then bring in the solution for you, which a lot of you are going to bend the knee to it, man. Because you don't have any fucking integrity or morals, and you damn sure don't know the scriptures, man. You see what I'm saying? So the, so the Heavenly Father, man, is, 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 is bringing it quickly. Man, they're talking about the coldest winter in Europe. They're talking about the food shortages, yeah. water shortages, man. What the fuck are you people gonna do when that shit hits the fence, man? Y'all ain't got no fucking uh, gardens in your fucking backyard, man. A lot of y'all don't know how to grow crops and shit. You know what I mean? Can you take a shit out in the wild? You know how to clean yourself properly? You don't. That's This is what a lot of you people are gonna face right now, man. We're, we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble, bro. You know? And if y'all ain't ready, fuck. That's spiritual you said that, you know? That that simple fact of taking a shit. Yeah. You know, what, what do you do when you don't have a uh, paper? Paper, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? Because right. you're not cleaning your ass. You, you, you develop a, a infection. infection and shit. You know what I'm saying? So even on that on that that, that basic needs. You know what I'm saying? Like the people of America are not prepared to to live under the conditions that are coming to the earth, man. Yeah. You know these these biblical Armageddon type uh, scenarios, man. You know where there's no light. You know the water might might be shut off. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we're in the midst of a, of a, of a, a drop, you yeah. know, so, it, hey, it, it could get real bad real quick. Yep, you know? yep, yep. 
They're already talking about giving out restrictions and stuff out here in Arizona where we're at. They're already talking about restrictions, you know what I'm saying? Um, and they, they already said basically these rural areas, you know what I'm saying, if you, you, know, you want to be off grid and shit, you're not going to have any damn water, man. So those are the first people to, uh, uh, to, to, to uh, feel the effect of not having any water. Then it's going to happen in the city. We're in Arizona, man. It gets hot as fuck out here. <laughs> 120, a little higher than that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you can't survive in Arizona without water or pretty much AC. That's why Arizona thrives. That's why these desert places thrive because they have AC, they have water. And the scriptures talk about that in Amos. It says that, you, that, that you're going to wander to another city searching for water. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and boy, it's going to get, like the brother said, man, it's going to happen very quickly, man. Quick reason? It's going to happen quick. This is going to be uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus 29 and 21. The chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to cover the shame. Oh. You know? Yeah, that's okay. Right. Yeah, I got something for you. I got something for you. Uh, this is the book of Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, or no, uh, 10. Because I have kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that's what we're talking about right now, man. The hour of temptation is going to be a very, very bad time for people here, man. Anybody that's not under this uh, this uh, this sign here yeah. and that belongs to the elect, you're going right. to suffer, man. That's right. You know, Jacob's trouble, martial law, FEMA camps, you know, no water, no food, wild beast apparitions, man. Robots, killer robots. They're talking about fucking killer robots right now, man. How the fuck are you gonna fight against the Robocop, man? You can't fucking do that shit, bro. She's gonna destroy you, man. We need spiritual power, man. Celestial intervention, and that's gonna go into it right now. Go for it, bro. It says, we shall, I, will, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You can read that again. God. Uh, Revelation 3 and 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience which is this truth I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation and we already talked about that hour of that temptation man the hour of temptation being the mark of the beast primarily man because that's going to be the ultimatum for everybody in the fucking world man are you going to do it or are you not going to do it you know God. God, it says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So you got the fucking CBDC talking about rolling out this digital currency already, man. I think they said that December 13th is when the U.S. Uh, goes into effect on that, man. What do you think they're going to start doing, man? They're going to start eliminating your cash. Right. Turn in your $100 bills for some credit. Yeah. Turn in your $50 bills for right. some credit. Right. Like, cool. To the point where you're not going to have shit. Everything's going to function under that new digital system. Right. That's going to be a very trying time for all you people, man. And, and if I may add, if I may add to that, you know, and we're kind of, we're already in that, you know, because yep. uh, the debit, the debit card is, is cashless. You yep. know what I'm saying? And it has a chip. You know, what do they say? Oh, s s does it have a chip? Slide your, slide your chip. They're talking about your card, right? And, 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 and the thing is, is that really the system is already set up in effect. Yep. Because if they put a chip in your hand, it's, what's the difference between having a, a, a debit card? It's, it's the same difference, right? It's just without no material, uh, uh, what do you call it? No physical, uh, uh, physical, you know? Money. Right, no physical money, no physical plastic, no, that's gonna be in your hand. You see what I'm saying? So this, they're so damn clever, man. They, they, it's already kind of set up in, 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 uh, in, in effect already. And the funniest thing about it is that they told us, they told us about this shit many years ago, bro. You had Aaron Russo talking about it. Yeah. What did everybody say? Oh, that fucker's crazy. The government ain't trying to do some shit like that. Well, you're seeing it now, fuckers. It's becoming a reality, man, and it's scary. If you're not prepared, you're gonna be scared, man. What are you gonna do when you can't go to work, bro? You can't feed your kids. You gotta pay the fucking electric bill now. You're gonna, you're gonna go break into your neighbor's house, like it says in second as was Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to say something similar to what Kasai was saying. You know, people think that it's far fetched. You know what I'm saying? They're doing what they're doing. But again, like the brother was mentioning, why do you think you have this? Remember, these damn devils, they went in your home, basically, took all your gold away, and they gave you fucking paper. Right. Then they taken your paper away, then they gave you plastic. Now they're taking the plastic away, now they're putting a fucking chip in you, man. Wow. The shit has already, yeah. you, don't, you don't see the fucking process, stupid? Right. 
<laughs> another thing too, man, you know, and I've said this before, the Spirit has had me say this, man, that, that really, really the money system is really numbers decreasing and increasing on the screen. Yeah. That's all really what it is, man, because if you don't have cash, or if you don't have gold, if you don't have anything, what is, you use debit, you swipe your card, and it's just what? Numbers de uh, decreasing in your account. So what's the difference if you were uh, putting a chip? And that's how they're presenting it to you, and they've been doing this, man. But, and I want to say something, too, about the Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, man, you know. And that's all essentially what we're coming out here to tell you, to give you back what has been given to us, the understanding of what the Bible says, and to warn you people, man, okay? The, 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 the Bible is, is, is uh, your heritage, it's your culture, it's the way the Heavenly Father commanded us to be as a people. And a lot of you scoff and scorn and just say, you know, we're just, you know, crazy or whatever, but hey, man, you know, hey, we're beseeching you to become, to be reconciled to get some kind of leniency, some leniency. Thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power of the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faith, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Yeah, so that's basically what we're coming into when this fucking martial law, all these fucking super soldiers, these robots fucking get unleashed out here, man. We're gonna need some type of protection, man, and that, that protection is gonna come primarily through spiritual power, man. Because mm -hmm. how are we gonna be able to combat in these bodies, man? You can't do it, man. All kinds of stress is gonna be, you know, fucking banging our heads and shit. So we're gonna need that spiritual power in order to combat all this, man. Because um, yeah, those are gonna be uh, certain events that are gonna go, they're gonna create a PTSD on you, man. You're gonna oh, be yeah. all stressed out, all, all traumatized. Yep. You might see people getting their head chopped off. You might see some freak accidents, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you might see people eating each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So all these things are going to have an impact on your mental uh, capabilities, man. That's what we always say, that this word, this knowledge, that's what's going to keep you sane and balanced when all hell breaks around you, man. Which is going to knowledge to be the stability of that sense. That's, yeah. you know, that's what's going to keep you sane yeah. when all hell's breaking loose, man. When you know, people are offing themselves because of the, the terror that they're hearing, just like the Egyptians, man. You know, the scripture doesn't specify, but you might you, you might imagine that, that people were killing themselves when they were hearing all the all the other visions, all that darkness that could, that, that touched them. You know, and that's what's coming all over again to America, Babylon, the Great, man. And, hey, and that's and that's why it's important for people to understand just how bad it's gonna get. You can't overlook the bitterness of the scriptures. All right, and that's what a lot of our people like to do. They just want to hear about the smooth things. We're going to be in the kingdom. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We was kings. We're going to get power. Yeah. But they don't want to hear about all of the stuff that, all of the hell that's coming. Yeah. And you can't right. skip over the bitterness of, of, of what the Lord is getting ready to bring, man. Yeah. So that when it comes, then you, you already had to understand it. You already mentally prepared for it. Right. You already expect that it was going to be that way. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes, you don't lose your fucking mind like the brother is going into. You see what I'm saying? That's why we give you the whole truth, the whole volume of the book. We're not just going to give you the sweet without giving you the bitter, man. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta, I'll finish it out real quick. So it says, uh, verse uh, 39, Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, man. It's like the brother uh, Hassan was talking about the, uh, the red man, man. These are the only men that are going to wait for the Lord. These are the men that are hoping to receive that power, that 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 that, that escape from all this hell that we're going to be uh, fucking living through, man. Yeah. Yeah, those are the wise men, right? Uh, to see if the evil yeah. and hide themselves. Yeah. We're going to see if the evil and hide themselves. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We're hiding ourselves in the scripts, man, in this knowledge. Yeah. We're taking the hedge that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has opened right now, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know that spiritual art, man. And, and we all have been there, man. Because believe it, man, brothers want to get busy out here, man. Right. The scriptures talk about us being, uh, us being the uh, the fucking battle axe of the war of the Lord, bro. Yeah. The Lord said he's going to make us hunters pretty soon, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, the right brothers here. can believe it. We, we <laughs> get in there, man. We That's right. There. Yeah. But like the scriptures say, man, there's a time and purpose for everything. Yeah. And right now what we're doing is we're sending the message so you prepare yourself. Get all your tools, get your fucking... Uh, your gun or whatever it is you need to be able to fight during that fucking fight, man. That's what we're doing right now. 
what was I just gonna say? Oh, oh, yeah. I was just gonna say, man. You know, uh, 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 you know. Ultimately, the Heavenly Father really what he's doing is he's he's, he's uh, spiritually exercising us, man. You know what I mean? And 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 you know, it's an ultimate underdog story, the story of you, you, the Israelites, okay, who have been in captivity. We're slaves, man. We're prisoners of war. We're in a war, man. You know what I'm saying? We're in a war, man. And and and, and you know. Hey, pretty soon, you know, the, the Lord's gonna let the underdog, you know, get back on top and go fight for 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 his. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right, bro. That's, that's right. right. You know, we're at that point where you know walk is doing that that walk, you know, yeah, that yeah. body yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's, that's us, man. Yeah. That's us. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritually, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're about to make our great combat yeah. Yeah. You know, to the scene yeah. of, yeah. of yeah. leadership, yeah. man. Yeah. You know where we're supposed to yeah. actually be. Right. You know that's that's, <laughs> that's where we belong, man. We belong in. Authority to set everything back up in order. Yeah. And that's what you're gonna have when the Israelites get back into power, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right, man. So yeah, so I want to say again, you know, we may look weak to the public, but what the fuck does the public know? They only know what their government has instilled into their minds, man. Yeah. Right. You, you see what I'm saying, man? You know, you know, via that damn uh, TV screen, man. All right, that brainwashing device, man. You know, to give you people your orders. Why and tell you what to fear next? The CDC said that there's another uh, another strain that you need to worry about. I think it's called like XXB or some shit like that. So the CDC is already cooking up what you should be a fucking afraid of. Wow. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know. But then again, it's just the Lord because what the Lord said He was going to send the place. You see that? So the Lord, so the Lord controls the minds of men. You see that? So so the Lord is having it where 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 he, if he's almost cooking it up. Hey, that's still that's still uh, the Heavenly Father's doing. Man. To spread it upon you people. You see that? So again, the man that you see out here on the highways and hedges, man, the scripture says they're gonna be turned into hunters. You would never hear these scriptures in church. Never. Right. Yeah. Because it's not it's not it's not relevant to the church and it doesn't fit their narrative and yeah, right. you know what I'm saying of, of the bullshit that they speak about. Let me grab this right here. The brother he quoted it. But uh, Jeremiah 16 and um, 16. It says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, say of Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And that's what we're doing right now, man. We're, we're throwing that net. You know, the hook is the word. Right. A lot of people are getting caught up, just like the brothers right here, man, like we did, man. You know, we heard the word, we got caught. That's the net. There you go, man. Right? And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. See, that, that's that's beautiful. Right? That, that's prophecy because you damn devils, that's, what, that's where you're hiding. That, that's where the super rich is hiding, man. The one who sent, you see what I'm saying? All the small hats. You have your little doomsday bunkers, man. You, you have that. Especially if you're in the dome. You know what I'm saying? You then you'll be fucking foolish to have all that money and not have one. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so again, according to the scriptures, man, hey, you damn devils, you are you 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 already have your bunkers ready for you to climb up in them, man. But the but the Lord's gonna give the elect that power. You know, you see that movie Black Adam. You know, you see the movie uh, Will Smith. What is it called again? Will Smith. Uh, uh, Hitch. Uh, uh, Hancock. Hancock. You know what I'm saying? So you you're seeing these type of movies and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's gonna give us power, unimaginable power, man. Where that man can't even fathom. I mean, you can put it on a movie screen, but I'm sure it's a million times more powerful than that. You're, de you're dealing with the Almighty, man. Right. Remember, the things that you cannot see are more powerful than things that you can see. Esau can't just peek into the spiritual world, with, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and look in there and, and see certain things. You can't do that, man. So you talk about immense power. You can't, one angel can destroy the whole earth, right? <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? So imagine the type of power the Lord is going to give the elect. The elect are over the angels. They're going to command the angels, man. You see what I'm saying? You got it. Yeah, it makes me think about that, that story of the black Jesus, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, That's the, what surface, you know, yeah. something he said was that you know there was gonna be a time in the future, yeah, yeah. and many more like him were gonna come. Yeah. That's yeah, that holy yeah, city yeah, coming down from heaven, man. Yeah. The elect, man. Supermans, man. That's gonna be a hell of a sight, man. That's right. Crazy. Right. And they, the fuck they say that in the book of Psalms it says, "No, ye not the year of God, man." Mm -hmm. yeah. But ye should die as man. But we're gonna we're getting ready to go back into those uh, special bodies, man. You know, does the brother have a script? Go right. for it, yeah. Okay. This is uh, Romans 8.31, because the brother prophet uh, mentioned, man, it says uh, we should be hunters, or we should hunt them in the rocks, you know? And while they're in the rocks, they're still going to have all that technology at their, at their, at their, at their oh, access, yeah. basically. Yeah. They have the, uh, brother said, robocops, got robo-dogs, and we're still going to hunt them down. Yeah. That lets you know the Heavenly Father is going to set us up, man, to, hey, with power. This is Romans 8.31. What shall we say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? Uh -huh. I got to keep understanding, because people always quote that scripture. Yeah. Just 
just because Heavenly Father is with us does not mean anybody will not come against you. That means who can be against you, meaning who can be successful uh, 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 yeah, against us. Nobody's not going to be successful. You know, the so-called white man thinks he's so smart, but the Heavenly Father's always ten, 10 steps ahead. So you think the Heavenly Father don't know that the white man got super soldiers to stand the third? The Heavenly Father knows these things. He's going to have us equipped to be successful, man. Right. And no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Right. Man. No, no, nothing that you have, which they have many. Why do you think they have these Terminator movies, man? See, when the government shows you some bullshit like that, that means they already have that shit in production probably 20 years ago, man. See, I'm, they're just now bringing it to the public's eye yeah. for entertainment to fund their adventures, man, because you, they, they, they make a lot of fucking money off of those fucking movies, man. Yeah. And you're sitting there being entertained, eating popcorn, not understanding that, motherfucker, this is going to be reality soon, man. Don't don't they say that a uh, uh, reality is stranger than fiction, man? Yeah. You know, yeah. so, something like that. And, and if I may say, man, that that, that movie Terminator was actually uh, you're supposed to put that together with the Matrix, man. You know what I mean? Oh, that's right. that, yeah, that's what he's speaking that. about. Because right. uh, 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 John Connor is supposed to be Jesus Christ, yep. you know, which oh, is Yahweh wow. Shai, you know, the Messiah. Okay, that's 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 what the Lord's gonna give His people back, yeah. man. That uh, 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 mighty man. You know, yeah. uh, just imagine what the uh, it was for one man, I think it was one of the mighty men, right? He, he took on, on 700 men. Right? You know, so there's a constant revival, man, that back up what we're saying. You know, so it's, too, not, it's not too far fetched. You know, you know he had to be moving at, at, at a very quick nice. speed. Quick shit. pace, bro. You see, because the enemy, they ain't your typical soldiers that you have here in America, Battle of the Gate. He, he, was, he, was, he was taking out men of war, man. Right? You know, the Jews that knew how to, how to, how to work the sword. Oh, you know, that, that there's a uh, there's a phrase that uh, I think uh, uh, King David's uh, King David's wife tells one of the sons of King David uh, when he's trying to rebel against uh, King David. He's like, man, careful with your father because those men are men of war. They're chaffed yeah, yeah. spirit. Chaffed in spirit. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They ain't fucking around, man. Yeah. That's, that's the that's the same spirit that the heavenly father is going to bring back and put in his man, but on a whole different level, man. Because yeah. you know, now they're going to be able to fly, now they're going to be able to do things of that nature. Yeah. And it talked about oh, David, David, David used to leap over walls, bro. Yeah. So, I mean, those walls were you know, hundreds of feet high, so you know, that, that gives you a perspective uh, on, on the level that these men were on, man. Yeah. They were on a very high level. Shit, Samson, uh, fucking uh, jawbone of an ass. Right? That's hella spiritual power there, bro. Ain't no normal human doing some shit like that, man. And like the brother said, especially with them uh, soldiers from those old days, bro. Those were real built men, man. And he was probably talking arrows right here, you know, probably moving like all kinds of shit, yeah. bro. Hell yeah. To take that many men down, yeah. you're a bad dude, bro. Right. You're a bad dude, right. So, so what's up with you, Jakes, man? You know, they talk about the Bible's weak, man. Ain't nothing weak about the Bible, man. Y'all have just been misinformed, man. You know, they think they were a bunch of. You know, a, a bunch of squares, man, a bunch of lanes, bro. Like, yeah. no, man. Righteousness is immortal, man, but y'all want to die, bro. Yeah, right, right. I got one, brother, for me. This is the book of uh, Zechariah, chapter 10 and 5. And they shall be as mighty men, which shall tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the battle. And they shall fight, because Yahweh was with them. And the riders on horses shall be confounded. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph. And I will bring them again to place them, for I have mercy upon them. And they shall be as though I had not cast them off, for I am Yahweh their power, and will hear them. Man, man, so we're, we're going to be a, an unstoppable army, bro, once the Lord fucking uh, gives us that spiritual power again, man. Nothing's going to get in our way, man. We're going to redefine the world, man. We're going to make it into an actual livable world. Huh? You know? What's that, brother? Huh? It says, and they of Ephraim... And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their hearts shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it and be glad, and their heart and their heart shall rejoice in Yahweh. Beautiful scripture, brother. Basically, going into the glory of Israel, man. Starting with the men, the 144,000 prophets, man. This is the Book of Psalms, 58 and 10. It says, "The righteous shall rejoice." When he seeth the vengeance, he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. You know, so that's, what we'll, that's what's coming soon, man. And you know, we're about to, uh, 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 like the brother said, about to be turned into hunters. You know, we're still in that time of teaching the law, the, the book and all that, but you know, that time is fast to approach you, man, as we see these prophecies uh, 
come quicker and quicker with more, with more frequency. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Everything's coming quicker, man. Like like Brother said a few months ago, you know, uh, even the science has said that the Earth uh, physically is spinning quicker, man. So we are in a very uh, prophetic time, man. <coughs> We're seeing the prophecies unfold. You know, just like it was told to Habakkuk to, you know, uh, to write it uh, plain upon tables. You make it plain. It has never been more clear that there's a, a heavily celestial angelic force moving up, up on the earth, man, with all these uh, chariots appearing. You see, so hey, uh, we're, we're seeing all the right signs, man, that lets us know that, that we're at that time where, where the Lord's going to send his son back, man, to, to bring that vengeance, you know? Right. Yeah. We're starting to see those chariots more and more, man, now that we're, you know, reaching the, uh, the climax of the uh, fucking structure of this government, man. You know, and it's impossible to hide it now, man. They yeah. got fucking forums that they're doing on, on the fucking Pentagon talking about these chariots, bro. Oh shit, what can we do about this? Yeah. How, how, how do we lie to the people so more? You can't fucking lie no more, bro. Yeah. The truth is in plain sight, man. Right. It's impossible for somebody not to know that those are, those are the angels now, bro. Because the prophets are out here telling you, man. Yeah. You know? Okay, can, can we jump to uh, Isaiah 13 or this brother has something? 13. We can start from the top, bro. Alright, this is Isaiah. Isaiah 13 and 1, it reads. Woke. This is Isaiah 13 and 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. So we're talking about not the, uh, the ancient Babylon, but the new Babylon, which we know is talking about America. That's code for America, Babylon. Reads, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. This is the banner that we're lifting, the Bible. This is how we're able to filter the world events through the scriptures, man. Ah, right. Through the Bible. And only the prophets can do this, man. So it says, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. And America is a high mountain, right? Because it sits on top of all the other governments. Exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Yeah, that's why some of us brothers be yelling, yeah. moving the hand, yeah, you motherfuckers! Because <laughs> yeah. that's what a prophet does, that's man. That's right. It's an action prophecy. when you're doing this, man. Yeah. Prophesy. That's right. Go for it. It says, I have commanded my sanctified ones. Mm -hmm. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger. Who are the sanctified ones? The prophets. Okay, go for it. Even them, that rejoice in my highness. And who rejoices at the highness of the Lord? The angels, man. Right. Yep. It says that the angels are always up to do the work of the Lord, man. Right. They never say no. It's always a yes, let's go do it. Read verse 4, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations. And that's basically in the face that we're in right now. We're starting to hear about all these rumors of wars. Oh, well, you know what? Ukraine has beef with Russia. Mm -hmm. Well, the Middle East has beef with Ukraine. Oh, well, we got the, the, the fucking EU now trying to step into this. We have a what? A, a noise of all these nations gathering up together. Who's doing it? The Lord is doing it. Right. The Lord is mustering the battle. You say these wealthy feathers, man. Yep. These nations are seeing themselves you know, as enemies now, especially with the whole... Uh, situation with Russia where certain nations want to support them because you know now they're they're taking a hit with the with their own economy yeah. you know so there's a lot of uh, things happening even within the EU and a lot of those things are playing out in prophecy man. that's right bro. Yeah. Yeah. so it's like the scripture says that the king's mind is in the hand of the Lord mm -hmm. he toss it any way he wants to toss it he has to get the way he wants to get it that's right now I want to say this, the average person doesn't understand, but we're at war. Right. It's just that missiles are not flying yet. Right. You see what I'm saying? The, what, 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 in the ancient days, right, what did they do to try to weaken each other? They would cut off each other's supply line. You see what I'm saying? Because you know, it's just like this, man. When you, when, in the ancient days, when they, when they try to overtake a castle, they would camp out. That shit took months to overtake, man. You know, it didn't just happen fucking overnight. So they would camp out, and their soldiers got to be fed. So what would they do? The the uh, the place that's getting attacked, they would send out a cavalry to go and cut off their supplies and shit. If you cut off their weapon supply, cut off their food supply, that army dies the fuck out. And that's basically what's going on as a whole to you people here in America, man. You know what I'm saying? Going back to 70 AD, the government is doing this to you, man, to weaken you 
You know what I'm saying? Again, so you can bend the knee to the new world order, to the new system. The average person is clueless about this. You're just going to go right along with it, like we were saying earlier, just like how we all accept it, going from gold to money, going from the money to the credit cards, now going from the credit cards to that digital ID inside your, inside your flesh, man. All these things are happening, but the average person, you're fucking clueless. You only exist within your bubble of bullshit. Your sports, the family drama, you know what I'm saying? Just, just different bullshit that you have going on in your miserable fucking lives, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're gonna be cut off like a thief in the night, and it's gonna hit you hard. Right. That's why they make zombie movies, man, because you're the goddamn zombie. Because when that time comes, you're not stacked up like a prepper would be. Remember Noah, the, uh, the Lord came to Noah, and he said, you know, listen, listen, the end of all flesh is coming before me. What did Noah do? He moved with fear. That's the Hebrews. And he prepared an ark for his family. You people ain't prepared for shit. Right. You said you better get your fucking supplies now. You know what I'm saying? Amazon is going on strike. All these different places, man. Hey, it's, it's going to be fucking, it's going to be crazy. We're ready for it, man. We're just, we're, you know what I'm saying? We're that person in the back of the movie theater right by ourselves with some popcorn just chilling, watching all these things <laughs> in, right. unfold, man. God. You know what I'm saying? We're just watching you people. Man, with the scripts in our hand. Oh, that's that's second Ezra 15. Oh, yeah, oh brother, brother, go, go ahead and grab that half of the second half. You see that? You see that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much what we are, man. Yeah. We're watching it unfold. It's a beautiful thing to see the Lord do work, man. It's, the average person will never understand, you know what I'm saying, the joy that comes with that, man, because yeah. you've been so dumbed down all your fucking life. Right. You see what I'm saying? We're literally seeing the Almighty work, and it, it, it's. it's it's strange, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the scriptures say don't count as strange, but you know what, you know what I'm talking about. That's right. You know? We understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, right? The, brother, um, the brothers understand. You want to continue? Oh, okay, come. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, just, just because he's talking about uh, the only, the, only <laughs> the men of the Lord have the understanding. Yep. This is why. It says, uh, this is Job 32 and 8. It says, but there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty gives him understanding. Uh -huh. So that you know, like you said because uh, you know the, uh, the the average person doesn't know what the hell's going on, but the men of the Lord have been given the understanding from the Almighty, the Almighty Power. That's right. But neither do the average person want to know. No. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord is having it where this whole Israelite thing. Remember, the Lord's going to come back for the controversy of Zion. There's a lot of controversy going on right now. So the average person, you know, you, you oh yeah, you're going to run into it. But going back to Isaiah, the first chapter. All right, you're not gonna even consider it because you're so fucked up in your mind. You're so used to normalcy. You got that normalcy bias going on, all right, that you, you don't want to pay attention to these certain things, man. You just want to exist in your own little, uh, again, your own little miserable bubble, man. The Lord's gonna destroy you for that. And I'm talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and African Americans, man. This is for you. You see what I'm saying? When you're so damn destroyed, you don't want to accept your heritage. So what, so what is the Almighty gonna do to you? What is the Lord gonna do to you, man? He's gonna destroy you. You don't want to accept who the hell you are? Going back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6? You see what I'm saying? You got it, bro. Man, these motherfuckers don't want Yahweh to reign, bro. That's why Yahweh Shai made that comment. All ye that don't want me to reign over you, bring them hither and decapitate them in front of me, bro. A lot of you motherfuckers is gonna die. You gotta fucking die, bro. Right. All you motherfuckers that come against us, that come against the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the good news, man. You know? This is Isaiah, the first chapter. I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquities, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Hell yeah, man. You see that amongst our people, bro. It's a fucking cage of evildoers, man. Setting traps for their brethren. Our women being wicked as fuck, man. No brotherly love between the, 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 the tribes, man. That's, that's fucked up, man. But that's how we know who we are, man. That's how we know the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American fit the prophecies of this book, man. It's impossible, brother, to, 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 to deny something like that nowadays, man. They got it. Man. Uh, read on, it says, they are going away backward. Yep. It says, why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will <laughs> revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, which is what the brother was breaking down, man. Our people are just completely fucking gone, man. 
it's, it's, it's shit that's blatant and right in their face that they completely overlook, man. If you can't determine right now that eating pork is detrimental to your health, man, then you deserve to die. Keep eating this shit, man. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Even if we didn't come out of the scriptures and tell you that, Esau would tell you that. That's right. Esau I tell you that pork is fucked up. He'll still feed the shit to you if you're dumb enough to consume it. But he'll tell you that the shit is fucking poison. And you niggas will look at us crazy if we bring it out to scriptures. That's right. Bro. You see what I'm saying? It says, you will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. God damn. So the whole nation is fucked up, man. That's why people need to die, bro. Yeah. All these fucking exactly. peons out here, brother. It sounds fucked up, but it's the fucking truth, bro. These people are doing us more worse than good, bro. Just by them fucking breathing every day, brother. <laughs> it's the truth, man. That's bad. Can you can you go on to that, uh, Isaiah? So you gotta watch yourself everywhere in this society. Man. You can't even be driving. Cause you gotta worry about you know one of these motherfuckers having one of these uh, psycho episodes, man, and, and, right. and ramming his vehicle into yeah. this shit, bro. Uh, America, <laughs> America is the country with the most people on fucking drugs, bro. Yeah, right. And these people are functioning, bro. Yeah. They're driving a fucking car. They do an eight-hour job high, bro. Uh, that is insane, bro. Those are demons. Right. That's why, that, hey, that's what King uh, David said. Uh, protect you from the valley of shadow of death, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's death around the, that nigga Tupac said that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I see I, death around the corner. Around the corner Every man. motherfucking corner, yeah. bro. Yeah. Hey, can I, can I say this real quick, man? I got a testimony since brothers brought that up. You know, a lot of these people that are on the road are fucking drunk the fuck up, and they're demons. <laughs> so I was coming out of, out of a park, right? Out of the park with my family and shit, and we were in two vehicles, all right? And this fucking dude, man, he was in his Mustang, man. For some reason, he was trying to pass my woman to get to me and shit. I'm like, who is this, man? He wanted to race me and shit. So I took off on his ass, man, like, like, you know, like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then I pulled to my destination where I was going, and his ass pointed there, too. Wow. You said, yeah, hey, hey, it was some crazy shit. I just want to get this testimony, man. You know what I'm saying? So he, he, pulled, he pulled in as well. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, I went up to his car. I was like, like what's up, man? Like, like, what you want to do? You know, like, well, why are you following me and shit? You know, and I'm on edge because I got my children with me. You know what I'm saying? So he, you know, he basically just, uh, uh, you know, he went into the parking spot. You know what I'm saying? So I took my children out of the car and we continued walking because I was going to Ace Hardware. I was doing a little project. So this motherfucker got out the motherfucking car and, and, and walked up on me. You see what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm gonna just say this: the spirit, hey, all crazy, y'all watching that was shot, man. Hey, the Lord had it while I laid his ass out, man. Wow. You know, that, that's just that's that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. He came because because I was with my children. You see what I'm saying? And he walked to me. I, I didn't know he had a fucking gun or not, man. And I don't let people get close to me, and I don't talk to you, you know. But if I perceive a threat, you out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So homeboy walked up on me, and I laid his ass out, bro. Yeah. The white of his eye was yeah. fucking yeah. showing. Yeah. I heard yeah. me got my children. We fucking Left, man. So yeah, so what you brothers is talking about, I just went through that, man. Yeah. Not too long ago, man. You, you see what I'm saying, man? Yeah. And the Lord, hey, he delivered me from that shit, man. He, hey, it, it was it was something else, man. But what I'm saying though, you know, you might have to get physical with a demon. Cause I had to get physical with that demon. I wasn't expecting that, bro. We were just talking about that too. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Right. So so again, you know, when, when you when you approach an animal, right, when they have their young. What happens to you, man? That animal is gonna go fucking crazy. On you. you don't, you don't approach the body with their children, man. And, and I knew he was a demon because he did that. And the Lord had me knock his fucking soul out of his body. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So hey, all crazy. Yeah, how about shimmy? How about shimmy? That's right. Hey, hey, that's, that's, hey, that's why the apostles have been pushing that that spirit, man, to to you know, get your, to get yourself in yeah. shape. You know, stay stay uh, kind of active, man, because you never know what what what, pre what may present. Uh, it's all on, on, on this path, man. You know what I'm saying? These testimonies, they come out to teach us, you know, certain lessons, man. You know, to, to, to know that these things may happen, and, and hey, you might you might have to get into it with yeah, it. It's like me and this brother we're talking about. You don't want to be that brother that freezes with another brother. Like, oh shit, what do I do? Man. Nah, bro, you can't be that person. We're warriors here, bro. The scriptures talk about if a man have fear, get him out of the fucking camp. We don't want them to contaminate yeah, 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 everybody real, else. We can get that scripture too, our brothers have it. I got one. Go for it, brother. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. We're, 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 being, we're being taught how to be men right here, brothers. Real fucking men. Because in this fucking world, we didn't know how to be men, bro. We were pussies. We're dealing with all kinds of fucking problems in our heads, bro. Depression. All kinds of shit, bro. So this is building us back up to be those men. Like, uh, leaders, bro. That's right. Because yeah, that's what a that's father, right. a father did. What well, was that scripture? Oh, the scripture says we are the father to the fatherless, man. Yeah. And then it also talks about how uh, uh, 
he that uh, teaches his son be with the enemy, man. Uh -huh. you know, and there was a certain uh, uh, there were certain things you taught your son as an Israelite man that, that he needed to know, man, as a, as a, as a goat. And that's how you brought up your children, man. Right. You know, that's how a nation's built, man. On, on, on bringing up your men a proper way, you know, teaching them about war, teaching them about how to conduct himself around, you know, other men. Yeah. You know, there, there's there's things that Jake in the world don't have, man, that gets them into these into these situations where people start shooting each other, man. Yeah. It all goes back to the upbringings yeah. that we receive, right. you know. Right. But we don't know how to conduct amongst each other, man. The nations don't have that, man. Hey, the nations don't don't have to worry about the, the party getting shut up, but within our people, that that's, oh, yeah. that happens, man. Because you see, it goes back to the fundamentals. You know, we weren't brought up right, man. Because you know, we're like, under the curses. It's like that song said, Jake, go from zero to hundred, real fucking thing. <laughs> right here, bro, bro. Thinking. Yeah. I, I got one. This is uh, Second Thessalonians chapter one and six. It says, "Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you." That's right. Ah, ah. Who the fuck has been troubling us for a very long time, bro? These nations, starting off with fucking Esau, bro. This motherfucker troubles us every fucking day. We go to work, we're being fucking troubled. We wake up, we're troubled, bro. I can't pay the bills, I'm fucking troubled, man. It's all coming from this fucking devil, bro. Uh, Ephesians 5 and 15, you know, milk scripture, but goes perfectly with what brothers is bringing out and the testimony of, uh, you know, the Akio shared. This is uh, Ephesians 5, 15. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Not walking circumspectly, man. That means you got to be able to have a vision of your whole surrounding, man. Uh -huh. Always being alert. Because yeah. yeah. like we said, man, death is around the corner right here, man. We live in a very wicked place, a very dark place. Yeah, go along and how about you, man. that be a this is our Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Woo! Where there is no vision, wow. the people perish. So that means that these people are not being prepared. There's no prophet there. Or if there is a prophet, this prophet is not sending the proper message out. Right. Because the scripture, hey, can a uh, brother get that script? I, I should send a uh, uh, teacher according to my heart. I <laughs> you uh, day, day in and day out. Can you read that again, bro? It says uh, Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Yeah. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Nah, but brothers right here, we're lively, man. We see the vision. Brothers here see the vision. They're hearing the prophecies. They're understanding the prophecies, man. So we good over here, man. We have the understanding. We're being prepared. Got it? I'm already there if you want it. Oh, come on, brother. Bring it's it up, the book brother. of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. And it reads, I will give you pastors according to my heart, mm -hmm. which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that starts off with the apostles, man. The apostles on down to every brother that's teaching the same doctrine. We're feeding brothers continually, man. We're being fed continually. We're always watching to give an answer to who? To the people, man, because the people need the answers. This is Revelation 3 and 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, mm -hmm. that thou mayest be rich in white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shape of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eyes with eyself that thou mayest see yeah. you know that basically goes into what you're saying man you know we have the vision man we, 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 we're seeing through the smoke and mirrors right. we're seeing through, through the treachery of the edomites man that that wise counsel you know we understand what's being uh, uh, set up right now as we speak you know, we're living through the set of the, the basically the implementation of the of the big of the beast system, man. You see that system that's gonna fight against Yahweh Shah when he comes back. We're we're basically in the midst of all this coming to pass, man. That's why they're trying to uh, consolidate power with all these uh, major corporations, man, where you could only purchase from them. So that's what the whole uh, the lockdowns were all about, man, to get the mom and pop, you know, the, these uh, middle class destroy the middle class and all that to set up the system, man. You know, so we're in the midst of all this happening. And that's why the, the, the Lord says that I have given you that eyes up. We see through it, man. We understand what time we're in, you know? If I may add real quick, and that's the beautiful thing about being able to see in these times because, uh, you know, after they lock shit down, man, and they, they start getting people to roll up their sleeves, man, we saw through that bullshit. We saw through the whole play that this devil was pushing, man. 
And now you fast forward, we, we got we got the same freedoms that all of you people have. You know what I'm saying? You know, despite all of the threats that Esau was making, saying if you don't do this, you lose your job, so on and so forth. And now we're sitting here, we got all the same freedoms as you, but we don't have that shit running through our bodies, man. And now it's more you niggas dying that took it yep. than the people that didn't, man. That's right. That's came that came out in this news this past week. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden, you know, I don't know if you brothers saw that documentary. You know what I'm saying? Die suddenly. Yeah. And it's a documentary so about hard. all these people just fucking dropping dead, man. So that's the beauty of being able to see and understand what's going on around you. So and, and, and having this word because it allows you to be able to navigate around the bullshit, man. And you don't get caught up with up in some shit like these peons. That when it did what he saw said, man. Yeah. That's right here, the rainman and the glory man goes into this truth. And that's what we're putting forth that upon ourselves, man. Ephesians the sixth chapter. You know, that army, man. And basically when those cards came, like the brother Paul was always saying, we 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 uh, uh we had the army or, or the armor that, that protected us from being deceived, man. Uh, you know, and what else does the scripture say that the elect should not be deceived, man? The elect I mean, they're gonna see through all that bullshit, man. You know, or, or let's say they should get an advantage over it, right? You know, he ain't gonna get an advantage over the elect, man. The elect got got got, got his ticket. Yeah. You know, like what right. I was gonna say too. You know. All right, I got a quick one. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, 91, and I'll start from the top. It says, "He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High <laughs> shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty." You know? I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him would I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Right. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flyeth by day nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, for nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. Here's the point. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Beautiful. Fuck they say, because at the top, that sounds like one, right? Yeah. At the top it says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. You know, and, and, and the secret place is where? It's, it's in the knowledge. Yes. You know, the Lord said, that it's like it's like you, you put your nose in the book, and the scriptures say the book is, uh, 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 seek out the scriptures for and then you know you have eternal life. So you're putting your nose in the book, the Lord's gonna cover you, man. You know, the, the, the scriptures also say, how often will I have gathered you up like chickens, and oh, you would yeah. not, yeah. like hens, like, you know, you put them in your arm, and what do you do? You hold, you hug them, you know what I'm saying? Virtually. So, how about shit now, Shai, that's, that's how he is, man. You know, and we're saying that on the way up here, if I may, you know, that the Lord has a force field, man. If you're part of the election, man, the Lord finds a way to you to always overcome obstacles, man. Go, going through the valley of the shadow of death, where we're, we're literally, you know, uh, you, know uh, you, ba you basically, uh, uh, you know, you're just dodging all types of bullets, so to speak, man. You know, and that's why we always, uh, we always push that, man. You know, get into this book, man. You know, read, read about your heritage, you know. I was telling this brother right now, man, like, like King David was the man, you know what I'm saying? He he was a, 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 a he was a mighty warrior, you know. He was a sweet psalmist, you know what I mean? He, he was a good-looking dude, bro. He was wise. You see what I'm saying? Hey, imagine, because if I may say, uh, you know, uh, in the ancient world, dudes used to uh, uh, they used to like uh, live off the land. That's the most manliest thing you could do right. is live off the land. You know what I'm saying? Know how to fish, like your brother Yashai was going in to learn how to fish. You see what I'm saying? Skin an animal, make a fire. How many people know how to make a fire? Shit. You see? Yeah. So so that's that's the thing, right? Hey, you know, get into this book, man, and the Lord will cover you, man. That's ultimately what we, we, we tell the people. I got a quick one for what you said about the book. This is Isaiah 49 and 15. The point is at 16. Can a woman forget her sucking child? That she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Right. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hand. Right. Thy walls are continually before me. Hey, and if I may say, man, hey, uh, you know, a woman, you know, hey, uh, you know, they're, the scriptures speak about them, they're like ostriches and they forget their young in the sand. And they're just ostriches who just dip out and leave the young, man. 
A lot of women are like that. But you see, Abu Bashim Yahu Shai, man, he's not like that, man. Yes, in Raven, you know what I'm saying? The, the Israelites, like a, like, a, like a reminder. He got like a sticky note, bro. The Lord, hey, the Lord hasn't forgotten his people. And a lot of people think that, uh, you know, because they're going through hell, you know, hey, what is this dude, uh, what's his name? Offset. He set up the funeral when uh, Takeoff died. Like, I don't want to question God, man. But I thought that was more of the most fakest shit you could say. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to question God, man, but why, and, man? Because you don't know why, man. You know, a lot of, and, that, and that's the difference between being in the truth and being man, being without, is that you guys are, are, are really uh, uh, without hope in the world. The Lord hasn't forgotten his people. You know, he's engraving us on his hand, so to speak, man. You know, it's like the Lord has a, 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 a sticky note. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, like you know, I, I, I wouldn't say a tattoo, but people engrave tattoos on their body. You know, oh, this is when something happened here. Where the case? Forever, brother. Yeah, the Lord forever has us <laughs> in the back of His mind. He's coming, bro. Apple, you know, Apple is his eyes, right? Yeah. Hey, but if uh, you could get that, um, what does it say? Um, I've gathered you like chickens. I'll get it for you. It also says that in the, in the book of uh, 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 Ezra's, I believe, the first chapter. You know what I mean? Because and that's the thing, man. The Lord, uh, uh, He's uh, uh, He's gathering His people. You know, uh, 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 the brother uh, Ayak brought it uh, brought it out, man. It says, gather yourselves together, O nation undesired. And what nation is undesirable? You blacks, you Latinos, you Native Americans. You see, for, for, uh, uh, last hired, first fired, the first to get welfare. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no, no job, no baby daddy in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, our, our people are just through. No education, no license, no vehicle, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, because we're in the curses, man being disobedient. I got it. Uh, so this is the book of 2nd Esther 1 and 30. I gathered you together as a hen gathering her chickens right. under her wings. That's right. But now, what shall I do unto you? I will cast you off from my face. You see, so the Lord, that's that's what the Heavenly Father did. You know, the Most High, ultimately, He abhorred His inheritance. It tells you that in the book of Psalms. You see, because they were, they were, uh, our people were so evil that the Lord had to, had to turn His back. And that's why He said, Yahweh Shai from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? It says, when you offer unto me, I will turn my face from you. Ah, yep, yep, yep. For your solemn feast days. Right, see, yeah, because he, uh, uh, you know, back, back then we used to offer up sacrifices, man. You know, we were commanded to offer up sacrifices and, and Jacob would offer up sacrifices and the Lord was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not feeling this no more. Y'all y'all are offering up animals and then, and then doing some wickedness right after. So the Lord was like, you know what? Hey, do, do away with that. I'm not. I'm not seeing that. He even says that in Amos, man. Do away. Uh, I will not smell in your in your in your uh, assemblies. Yeah. You know. Lord put away the music. Not my people. Yeah. Yeah. Put away the music of thy vials. The Lord was like, hey, man, stop the rejoicing. Stop the cap. Y'all are being wicked. And I mean, he was he was he was tired yeah. of it. And, and all this time, the Lord just wanted us to listen. You see. Well, it's not so bad. They say that they they would buy the offering before they, uh, yeah. you know, they, they'll buy it so that they had it when they did commit that sin, right? Right, and that's why the Lord said, um, if you could get that from your brother where, where it says, um, I, uh, sacrifice, have I not, have I not desired, but, uh, but uh, body after prayer for you? Yep. Uh, well, that one too, oh, okay. that was a good group, but, but the other one, it says, uh, 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 broken and burnt our spirit. Okay. But if you could finish that one for me, brother, while we show Kind of, yeah. It says, uh, verse 31. When you offer unto me, I will turn my face from you. God. For your solemn feast days, your new moons, and your circumcision have I forsaken. Wow, see the Lord was seeing you. Hey, Jake was trying to do good, but I was like, no, I ain't seeing it. I, I ain't feeling that. I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, right. whom ye have taken and slain. Right, hey, hey, and, 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 and oh Jerusalem, how, how thou, thou that killest the prophets, man, and our own people, they want, they, they, you know, they, 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 you know, it's getting to the point where you know, if they kill us, man, they think they're doing God's service. Yeah. They think they're actually doing a good thing, man. But 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 the Lord has set up men, you know, uh, uh, that look just like you from your same tribe to, to, to actually to warn you, man. You know? And torn their bodies in pieces, right. whose blood I will require of your hands, saith the Lord. Yeah, hey, so, you know, ultimately you're going to have to pay for that, you know, from all the righteous blood that was shed from the beginning of time all the way to, to, to you know, to the end. It's all going to be have to, you know, that tap has to be paid, you know, not only by Esau Edom, all right, first and foremost by Esau Edom, but also you know, the two thirds of our people, they're, they're, they're going to have to pay that 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 tap as well, man. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, my bad. I, uh, 
You got that I got to get kind of uh, Psalms 51 verse 17. Mm -hmm. The sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit, right? A broken and contrite heart, right? Oh, your howls thou will not despise, right? A broken spirit, a contrite heart, man. Meaning, meaning that you know, you you, you know, you you know, you know your 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 moral uh, littleness. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have uh, humility, you have humbleness, knowing that hey, you need help. You need you need to be you need work. You need you need to be worked on. You need to work on yourself, and that's ultimately uh, why. Uh, we've come into the knowledge, man, is to work on ourselves first and foremost. But the Lord has set up men, okay, you know, to 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 to, to show that that uh, that example. The scriptures say, "Hey, to walk humbly with thy power." You got to walk humbly with, with with the Most High, man. You see what I'm saying? Therefore, that you be justified in what you say and with the things that you do. But um, go ahead, brother. Yeah, I found it, man. So yeah. so again, you know, since you know, this <coughs> word is going out, like the scripture says, it will. You see what I'm saying? Now, you people. You know, if you don't hear what the prophets are saying, which are the heavenly Father, man, and you're going to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go to Acts 3 and 23, and it should come to pass, all right? And, and it's coming to pass already, man, that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Who are the only ones that can hear us? You see what I'm saying? And follow the law, statutes, and commandments, man, you so-called neighbors, on and Native Americans. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So if you're not trying to hear what the prophets are saying, you know, you want to turn a blind eye, you want to you want to continue doing the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you're silly, you're, you're silly, you know what I'm saying, your face, man. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord is going to take you out in horrible ways. Like I always say, you people are going to star in your own personal horror film movie, man. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to be fucking horrible, man. You, you never have you ever went through the things that are coming upon this earth, man, that great tribulation. It's, you know, the Lord said, and men shall be afraid. Grown-ass men are going to be fucking afraid, man. Because you're gonna have you're gonna have cannibalism going on, you know what I'm saying? That's that right there is gonna make people just just be terrified. You don't you don't want to be fucking eaten, man. Especially by somebody who haven't ate who haven't eaten in weeks, man. Completely, uh, uh, you know, ripped the fucking body apart and start eating your guts, man. That's how crazy it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? When that trouble comes, when that great tribulation comes, man. Yeah, I got it. It's funny because uh, when, when you go through that cannibalism, yeah. uh, the stages of cannibalism, I forgot the term, but it, it does something to your mind. Yeah. And if you're not getting that yeah. fucking human meat, you go fucking crazy, Turn bro. Exactly. <laughs> and it's funny that you had mentioned the thing about the uh, the zombies because uh, I don't know if brothers remember that video that they did about the, the sneakers. And then you had that one Jake that said the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You had all those fucking people running yeah. around. Those are all cannibals, bro. Because there's gonna be a low Damn, access of like food that. here, man. Wow. That is crazy. Wow. Over. Oh, who had it? Somebody had the Ezekiel right number. Oh, you you want the Ezekiel, right? You want the ending? Because uh, I have it where it says that the people are gonna come like my people. They're gonna sit, but they're not gonna okay, yeah, put yeah. anything you do for work. Yeah. Okay, come. So this is Ezekiel 33. And I'll start at verse 30. It says, Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls right. and the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh out from the Lord. Right, and, and, and that's what's going on right here with the situation with the Kyrie Urban. You got all kinds of jakes. Oh, They're right. like, Hey, man. Hey, did you hear? Yo, we are Israelites, bro. And, and, and you know, you know, just just two months ago, they were talking about, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, the Africans. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been seeing some of that on social media, man. People that are going hard for this Africanism stuff, right? And all of a sudden, they just want to post it. Oh, we Israelites, bro. Yeah. We we kings, huh? Hey, you gotta hear. <laughs> hey, you gotta hear what. You gotta hear what these Israelites Shalom, are talking, brother. We were yeah. kings. Yeah, but just you was get hollering Hotep two months ago, man. I've seen you guys, bro. You was I've been tri <laughs> tripping out on that, bro. <laughs> Grand Rising <laughs> Kings, like man. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Continuing verse 31. And they come unto thee as thy people come in. And they sit before thee as my people. Yeah. And they hear my words, but they will not do them. Right, a lot of people hear 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 the words, right? right. They don't want to really do what what the scriptures say, man. The scriptures say, enter ye into the straight gate. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie Irving ain't gonna enter into the straight gate. It has yet to be seen what guys like him, Kendrick Lamar, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Lamar Odom with his Yahweh Shai shirt, so on and so forth, man. It's yet to be seen with you guys, man. Because really, the scriptures say, uh, 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 wisdom cries without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. 
know, the Lord said, go out to the highways and, and to the lanes and compel them to come in. Okay? It says, uh, they show much love, mm -hmm. but their heart going after their covetousness. Right, they show much love, you know, saying, oh, yeah, you guys are doing a good thing, but really they want other things. They want to go do other things, man. And the other things are really evil and wicked. You see? Yeah, that's why I be getting mad when I see somebody say Shalom in their car. Man, fuck you. Come over here and do the work, right, man. Right. Why, we I don't give a fuck about your Shalom, man. Come do the work. The Lord said, I bid you to go out and teach. Let's, let's get that. So that was a commandment, man. So being here is a commandment. We're obeying the Lord right now by being out here. It says, um, verse 32, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that can have a pleasant voice. Right, so, you know, and, and, you know precepts come together. Brothers, uh, 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 you know, they, they, you know they, they expound on the word. They bring up the history. It all flows, and it sounds good. It's beautiful. You know, but in reality, they just like, it's all a show. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, I was, I was good, man. You know, they go back to whatever they was doing. Man. Yep. You know, and a lot of, hey, a lot of Israelites are like that. You know, the apostles have said for years, this is not entertainment. And I finally, I finally saw it for myself. Every, every man sees, all right, like, um, you know, different things uh, over the years. I mean, you know, they, they, you learn, you learn for yourself. You, 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 you understand the sayings that the elders and older brothers be saying when, when they finally, when you finally come to that cross, you're like, you know what? I know now what the apostles meant when they said that a lot of people are in this because they think it's a show. It's, hey, that's what we're the, we're the, we're the sons of the most high? Oh, yeah, man. But you know what? Y'all don't want to Y'all don't want to grow no beard. Y'all don't want to stop, you know what I'm saying, doing X, Y, and Z. Y'all got to fight. Y'all got to fight, man, for salvation. Y'all got to fight to uphold the, the laws of the statutes and commandments. You're not just going to come as is on that day and be like, look, Lord, you know, what do you know, they say? You know, you come to the Lord and be like, look, Lord, look at this. This is who I am. No, 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 no. Yeah, come as you are. The Lord's going to be like, man, what'd you do? Well, well, well you know, who, who are you? What, what'd you do? Man, I didn't, I didn't do nothing. I, 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 didn't, I didn't change at all. The Lord's going to be like, man, get up out of my face. I don't know. I know you, not you. Uh, uh, workers of iniquity. Right, workers of iniquity. Yeah, that's uh, Matthew 24 where the Lord said, uh, blessed is that uh, servant that when the Lord come in, he finding his uh, servant doing so. What are you supposed to be doing, man? Ultimately, man, when you go into Revelation 19, it talks about being in the spirit of prophecy. Because ultimately, that's what we're all supposed to do, man. Ecclesiastes 39 is one of my favorite scriptures, man. A wise man is going to give himself to what? To prophecies and the knowledge of the ancients, man. That's the only thing we're supposed to do here, man. The Lord didn't put us out here to be some fucking celebrities or successful people in this fucking world, even though you might have brothers like that. The Lord put us here to be what? Prophets, man. To alert the people right. to give you the message that's our only duty here man that's our only purpose our living purpose here. right right this, this the lord said i have uh, before you came out the womb i sanctified you know ordained you a prophet unto the nations that's yep. right you know so 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 hey everybody serves their purpose in life man and, and we aspire to be those prophets lord willing we are those prophets Shit. all i know is when the lord come back i don't want to have to you know have that thought in the back of my mind Shit, lord did i do enough Man, I should have done that, Lord. I just hope I ain't late right now, man. You know? Uh, 32. I'll finish it for you. It says, um, They hear thy words, but they do them not. And yeah. when this come into pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Right, so the things that the prophets had said, the things that the men of the Lord had said, and a lot of people had shunned it, a lot of people had put them to the side, a lot of people said, eh, it sounds good, but you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to establish my own righteousness. At the end of the day, okay, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you, that a man of the Lord was, was actually set up among you, man. You see what I'm saying? Because, hey, the Lord's coming to sift. The Lord's coming to sift the house of Israel. This is not a game. You see what I'm saying? The Lord has set brothers up, okay, to actually teach the word, to get into it, to actually, to give out the warning. Matter of fact, could you give me that? Oh, that's Acts 13. This is the book of Acts 13 and 47. It reads, For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles. Hey, we are commanded. The Lord has set us forth and commanded us to be a light unto the Gentiles, to our people who are in a Gentile state. We have to be examples, man. It starts with ourselves, bro. We, always, we get on people, but best believe a real man of the Lord is going to get on his own head, man. He's going to get on himself and say, you know what? Hey, I got to do this. I got to work on this. I got to do this X, Y, and Z. 
Okay? Go ahead, brother. It says that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. You see? Brothers are speaking salvation through the spirit and power of Yahweh to the ends of the earth. That's what these camps are set up for. I'm going to say this. Starting with Great Millstone, man. Right. Starting with Great Millstone, the apostles and the elders on down. The camps that you see out here in the inner cities of, of, of America, they're set up for what? To speak salvation. That's what we're out here for. This ain't out, this ain't out here to, 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 you know, for no filthy lucre, for anything else, man. You know, we're, 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 we're literally giving the, we're literally giving the warning, man. That's what we're set up for, man. You know, that's that that you know that's the only thing we're set up for, man. Hey, if we do anything good, we gonna get into these scriptures, man. Everything else is second, man. Even even our jobs, man. You know, we we find, find and I'm, I'm gonna say this, you know, I speak as a man, but we find, you know, that we we can get into this word. And I'll praise the how about Shimei Shai. Every brother got his measure, man. Every brother got his faith. And and, and and the elect are gonna they're gonna form like Voltron and they're gonna speak the word, man. That's right. And if it sounded repetitive to you, man, we'll fuck you, man. The apostles are always repetitive, man. The Bible is repetitive. The most highest, that's the ultimate repetitive man right there, man. Yeah. And, and, and we're like that because our people is a fucking stiff necked people, like it says in the scriptures, man. They won't fucking listen, bro. Right. They won't. And, and, and also it's for it's to memorize, man. It's to memorize, man. Like when you only time you memorize something is you just constantly go over it, man. Yeah, I think there's a saying called the, the uh, repetition is the uh, master of perfection or something like that. I think repetition, repetition is the father of skill. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that effect. There you go. Come on, brother. Can you finish it? Come on. Back in Acts uh, 13 and 4, I want to, I want to, Acts 13 and 47, it reads, uh, it says, For so, for so hath the Lord commanded us, say, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. That's right. That's right. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to a to eternal life believed. That's right. And see, and, and I'm gonna say this too, man. You know what? Who's gonna start increasing? The believers are going to start increasing as well, man. Because we're here for the believers, man. We're here for the like-minded. The scriptures tell you in Ezra, you know, don't hey, don't worry too much about those who are going to be saved, but worry about those uh, like it. Don't worry about too much of those who are going to be perished. Hey, worry more about the, those who are going to be saved. Right. But the ones that are perished, they're through already. They're already marked for judgment. So we got to focus on the like-minded, on the brothers trying to build, on the brothers trying to build the ark, the brothers that are laboring, the brothers that are that are giving up their bodies to live in sacrifice. Okay, for who? For Yahweh Shai. I, I got the word ordained from that uh, from that precept right there, bro, because that's basically what we're being, uh, what's being done with the different pieces that the Heavenly Father is moving around, man. Mm -hmm. That's the way the Lord uh, works, man. He's, he's a master uh, chess player. You know, we always use that analogy because it, it fits it, man. You know, Heavenly Father moves pieces, you know, to, to, and, and, and to wage war against the enemy. That's know? right. That's what certain brothers are where they're supposed to be at. Uh, all spiritual man spiritual. so it goes back to the word uh, tassel so it says to put in order to station to place in a certain order to arrange to assign a place to a point and that's what the heavenly father is doing bro he's, he's appointing he's ordaining his man to come out here and, and, and preach this word hey, hey the scriptures say man in that day you shall know a prophet been among you man right. you got to listen man listen to the words of the men that the lord has set up man you just you don't know who you're talking to man you know, you know, the Lord through the Spirit, man, He set up men that, hey, the scriptures say that it's not of a, uh, you know, that the, we have this truth and earth and vessels. Can you look at the word light? Like, in that scripture, though, on that verse 7? Light? <laughs> yeah, man. Spiritual war, spiritual uh, uh, battle, man, you know, we're waging it, man. The weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, though. We're, we're, you know, we're, 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 with this word, we're just slicing all the, 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 the false narrative, the false beliefs up there. That's right. I got you. So the word of false, so it goes into a light uh, emitted by a lamp, a heavenly light, such as surrounds angels when they appear on the earth. That's, that's deep right there. Bro. Uh, that's why you be having people in the world sometimes telling, man, I see a light about you, man. You got like a cover over. 
like them dudes from Dragon Ball Z, man. That's basically what the script is saying. It's like, what's that scripture? Uh, uh, what's the Happy Father makes a, fa uh, uh, a man's face to shine. Uh, uh, man's face to shine, man. This is something, uh, great knowledge, bro. You know what I mean? This is, this is of, uh, of the world, man. It says, uh, heavenly light such as surrounds angels when they appear on earth. Anything emitting light. You know, because if you can receive it, this is a, a form of spiritual power, bro. Yeah. Because you know, in the kingdom, we know that we're going to have a globe to us. Well, we have that, and, and only brothers can see it, man. That's why you, when you see brothers, you know, you, you feel hey, a certain type yeah. of way, man. You know, when we go out to eat, people look at us a certain different way. Because we don't move like people in the world, man. Yeah. You know? Especially when this word comes out. The scriptures say, matter of fact, we can get that. Uh, we'll know, I will not know the speech of those that are pumped up, but of the power. Mm. That, that's what it's about. It's about the power, bro. When you hear the when you, when when you came into this work, when you, when you came into the knowledge, a, a sincere man didn't come in because of the garments or because of the 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 the, the, uh, the, the, the barbecues or the uh, you know the Passovers, the two hundred dollar uh, uh, you know package. I like how that brother looks. Maybe yeah, I joined this game. No, no, no. It was it was it was the power, bro. You know the, the apostles. You know, with one of, you know, one of the things the Spirit has been mentioning all the time is that when, when they start the camera, it's scripture. It ain't no trap music. It ain't no, hey, wait. Gotta wait for the people to come in. You know, you ever see the nice UK video? I mean, if you ever do, you know, but but if you ever see, check those out, like 15 minutes of waiting, right? And then another three minutes of trap. And then another 10 minutes of banter of useless talking back and forth. And then the scripture like, whoa, bro, it's already 30 minutes deep. What, what, what was going on? Yeah. No, man, well, here is the word, bro. The, 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 let the word flow. Let's get, you know, let's teach. Let's teach. That's what it's about. Yeah, that's spiritual. You said this, <laughs> this brother, I remember, told me one thing, man. Hey, man, the, the, the simplicity of the word, that's what's going to attract that Hey, bro, you know, you're not going to have to bend yourself backwards or say some intricate, million word, million dollar word to, to attract the elect, man. The elect, the, the word, the simplicity that's in Amashiach Shai, man, that's what's going to be uh, attracted to the elect, man. Mm -hmm. you know? That's what the scripture's talking about in uh, Corinthians, that those that can afford you being grafted to the mm -hmm. So the moment they hear something that has to do with this word, oh shit, what's he talking about? Let yeah. me go put my arrow in there. Yeah. That's what happens, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's a phenomenon. That's right. That's right. And that's why oh. when, we, when we started listening to this, man, you, you just couldn't stop. That's right. I remember, brothers, when we first came in, you were just like 24 hours just watching videos, man. Oh, no, it seemed so, like, mind-boggling, you know, yeah. like, oh, shit, like, damn, what, where was this at? Yeah. Where was I at? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, we was missing out on, on, on something majestic yeah. that was happening in the planet Earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and everything else besides that didn't matter anymore, man. And that's because, you know, it's being brought out from you, man, because you once knew this. You know, I'll get you, I'll get you God. the information, bro. This is a, a God is a God is light because light has the extremely delicate, subtle, pure, brilliant quality of truth and its knowledge together with the spiritual purity associated with it. So this is all from the word of light. So it says that which is exposed to the view of all openly, publicly, a reason of mind, this is a good word here, the power of understanding moral and spiritual truth. Come on, come on, come on, yeah, 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 light, light is the power of understanding more, yeah, 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 that, wow. exactly, exactly, man. you see, and, and, and uh, you know, that, that's what's being made manifest in these last days, light being shone, shine, okay, and all the lies, man, all the deception, all the things that, uh, that, uh, you know, we didn't know, we're starting to get the knowledge of it, we're starting to get the, the understanding, okay, let's get that, okay, come. this is, uh, First Corinthians chapter 4, um, I start at verse 18, it says, now some are puffed up as though I would not come to you, but I will come to you shortly if the Lord will mm -hmm. and will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, right. but the power. Right. It's not about being puffed up with knowledge and pride and no, 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 no man. Because the scriptures say, uh, 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 roughly paraphrasing, uh, knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. You know, real, real sincere men are going to edify, they're going to bring out the knowledge, okay? The Lord's going to give them the utterance to say what it needs to be said for certain individuals at that certain time, in that certain place, what needs to go out. And it's the Lord, really. Go ahead. 
it says, verse 20, it says, for the kingdom of the Most High is not in word, but in power. Right, it's not in word, but it's in power. Look up that word power for me, Bob. Come. Power. So That's why we have to dwell in the word so we can have that light upon us, so we can have that power. Because when things are being said, it's, it, it, it's more said when it's done in sincerity and in righteousness, there's going to be a power to it. And that's what's going to grab the people. That's what's going to get people to, to grow and to learn. That's it. This is, uh, this is from the Greek. It says, do not miss. All right. And it says, strength, power, ability. It says, inherit power, power residing in a thing by virtue of its nature. You see, a power residing in a thing by the virtue of its nature. Mm. So we got to be virtuous. Yep. Therefore, hey, Paul, they, what did they say? When Paul, they used to just touch his, uh, his, uh, his handkerchief, he healed people. Oh, yeah. You know, That's we, right. hey, hey, man, uh, eat your shot. Eat your shadow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, hey, uh, uh, you know, brothers will, uh, br brothers will pray for you, man. And th hey, things, yeah, you get blessed, man. Things of that nature, man. You know, that's why we, 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 we give each other oils and, you know, uh, 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 brother talks about he good on that. You know, things like that. We got to be like that. You know, we're priests. This is our, this is our culture. This is our heritage, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to, and I'm going to say this too, you know, uh, when you, uh, it's funny, you know, speaking for, for Instacart, man, at work, they'll get together. And the boss will cuss everybody out. They'll get together and be like, what do you think about that? Well, I think this. And it'll be a council. I'd be sitting back in the cubby like, that's funny. This is what we did, man. This is judgment. It's a council going on right now. Spoken the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, teaching the word. We did that. We spoke by the scriptures, man. We didn't speak through wickedness. They do that, they do that now, man. But before it wasn't, you know, it wasn't so. It wasn't like that before. It says, uh... It says, or which a person or thing exerts and puts forth. It says, uh, B, it says, power for performing miracles. It says, moral power and excellence of soul. More power and excellence of soul. That's the definition of one. More power and excellence of soul, man. And that comes with, the, you know, being more, more, more holy, more separate, more righteous, man. And, and brothers get, brothers have that. You know, brothers have that because, you know, of the simple fact that we, 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 we be separate. You know, we, we be trying to cut things off. We be trying to, you know what I mean, put a cap on things, man. You gotta, you gotta cap the music. You gotta cap the flesh. You gotta cap whatever it is, and be more in tune with the spirit, man. And it's a battle. I'll be the first to tell you, it's a fight. But, uh, but, but this is the uh, the benefits of serving the Lord. This, this is what it, what it is to be uh, in the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? For all you all that wanna, you know, find a way to get closer to the Most High, you know, be more spiritual, man. You know what I'm saying? Cut, you know. Uh, cut the flesh off, man. You know, and it's a fight. Scripture speak about the the flesh worked against the the the, 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 uh, uh, the spirit. You know that one can't do what the other one to do, man. And brothers have, have, have went went uh, have testified about. It. You see, so it, it, it very much is a battle, man. That's how you got to be to remain, though, man. Like if you really care to try to really remain. You know what I'm saying? And you want to continue to fight. You want to try to endure this thing in, into the end. Then you have to be that way, man. You have to try to to cap what what you're, you're doing in the world. You have to try to, uh, you know, do your best to mortify your members and and and, and, and do what temperate in all things. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yep, yeah, ha have that 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 sense of balance within everything you do because hey. It's, 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 they call, it's, it's a small degree of separation, man, from you overstepping too much to where the world has too much of a pull, man. Yeah. And, and, and that's why that's why we got to be so damn careful and we, and we always try to stay around brothers yeah. so that what? We stay in the spirit. We stay in the word, so we stay in the spirit so, so, so we can continue to fight and, and, don't let, and don't be overcome by the world. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let's, get, uh, let's go to uh, the... the uh, because uh, you know the spirit has of late has been you know kind of like uh, you know dawned on me man to speak about uh, you know basically uh, you know hey we're, we're, we're set up as, as, a, as an ad ambassador as a matter of fact Khan this is uh <clears throat> this is Jeremiah 44 and uh, I'll start I'll start at uh, verse 4 it says, uh, verse 3, it says, Because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger, and that they they went to burn incense and to serve other gods whom they knew not, neither right. they 
yea, nor, yea, nor their fathers. Howbeit I sent unto you all my servants the prophets, right. rising early and sending them, right. saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing and, that I hate. And this is what we're telling you. This is what we're telling you. You know, we're telling you, uh, you know, do not this abominable thing that your power hates. Okay? Uh, burning incense unto, to idols. Mm -hmm. You know, and you got a lot of earthly kingdom, man, they be doing that. You see what I'm saying? You got a lot of uh, 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 people that believe in Allah. You got a lot of people believe in, in Buddha and, and, and atheists, you know, we got a lot of this, man. But, you know, ultimately, what you know, hey, men are set up. You know, believe it, you know what I mean? Hey, it, it's just the way the Heavenly Father works. Everything has to have structure. Everything has to have an order in life, you know? You see, but hey, the, the men that the Lord set up are gonna tell you, do not this abominable thing. Abominable means a, a thing that is detested, is disgusting in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. And, and, and that's that's like you know you're, you're mocking the heavenly father to to to, to do certain certain acts you know and, and as the world continues to, to 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 just you know fall into perdition people are starting to erase the light of what is good and what is evil and it's becoming uh you know normal to just do what is abominable okay but we we're we're, we're you know we're here to tell you man hey Hey, be reconcile it to the most high, man. C come back, you know. Come back, you know. There's there's nothing more uh, 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 peaceful than, 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 than knowing, you know, that the most high and, uh, will forgive you. You know, a lot of you think that you're not going to get a uh, judge, man, but because of evil, a sentence against an evil work hasn't been committed, you know, it's fully set in your mind to just do wickedness. You know, you can get that. Uh, yeah, Second uh, Corinthians chapter five and uh, verse twenty. Now then, we are ambassadors for Hamashiach, as though Yahweh did beseech you by us. Right, hey, we take that stance. We, we take that stance boldly, man. Hey, you know, the Lord, hey, he, he has representatives, man. You know, like, the Lord, we believe that the Lord has set us up to, 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 to represent him and to tell you certain things. Hey, don't do that abominable thing, man. But a lot of our people, they can't get past, who are you? You know, that only God can judge me, spirit. But hey, the, the law says, Suffer not sin upon your brother. You're supposed to tell your brother when you're going off, man. And a lot of our people, you know, they, they find that shit hateful, man. When you pull a man to the side and go, hey, bro, you know what, bro? Want some real shit, bro? You know what? X, Y, and Z, man. What's up, man? They, they find that, oh, yeah, bro. Man, he's hating on me, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't like me. They, and I meant like you, bro. That man, that man, you know, was trying to uh, uh, get you from falling uh, into a way that is unpleasant. You know, that's how men deal. And back, you know, we have to be like that. The Lord set men up like that in these last days. That's right. You we see something, we say something. Yeah. Fuck hey. all that, not saying not yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. Or if I may say too, you know, because it takes a lot to tell somebody some shit, bro. Yeah. You know, so just the fact that you're building yourself to even tell someone and approach someone, you know, as that we know, we're, we're like, damn, well, you know, let me listen to this dude. You know, he might be, he might, he might have, he, he might have the words that I gotta hear. You know what I'm saying? Because it does take a lot to even approach a man in that nature, you know, like that you have to put him to the side. So why not listen to it? Yeah. It's an act of love. Because the scriptures say, bro, that when uh, when you befriend a when you uh, exhort a brother and he listens, and you've gained a brother. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know yeah. What I mean, yeah. And we're, and ultimately, we're out here to watch out for each other's backs. At the end of the day, man, we're our brother's keepers, man. That's part of the law. Yeah, how wish I talked about that, man. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you this, man. I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Hey, uh, if we didn't care, we wouldn't say nothing, man. But we come out here, you know, through the spirit and party of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to actually tell you so-called blacks, you Latinos, you Native Americans, man, that you have a power, man, and he don't like certain things that you do. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, and it'd be wise for you to, to, to you know, those of you who can receive it, to, 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 to make no tarry. You know, I'll probably get that too. Can you finish that for me, Ayah? Yeah, come on, bro. I'll go back to 2 Corinthians 5 and finish in uh, verse 20. It says, we pray you and Hamashiach stand. Yeah. Be ye reconciled to the Most High. Hey, be reconciled to the Most High, man. Uh, you know, where, where else Where else you gonna go, man? Hey, the disciples, if you read the scripture, the disciples said, the Lord asked them, hey, where are you guys gonna leave to? And the disciples says, hey, where are we gonna go? That has the words of, 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 of everlasting life. Damn. That's what, that's what this, that's what this is, man. That's what, that's what the Bible is, man. Search ye out the scriptures, for in them ye know ye have eternal life. You know the Bible's about something. Right. A lot of Jake know the Bible about something. But you only want to mention it on holidays. 
birthdays. Some go good to you. Oh, God. Thank you, God. Father God. You know? But read the scriptures, man. Be reconciled to the Most High, man. You know? Hey, we're beseeching you, man. We down here begging you. And we come out here to tell you. And whoever gets it is going to get it. Whoever, hey, good riddance. Because we don't got time for that, man. We, we really don't, man. You know what I'm saying? Brothers are seeking peace. Brothers, brothers, uh, we seek for a new heaven and a new earth. We're in dwelling righteousness, man. Because if we delve here any longer, we're going we gonna to decay to death, man. Right. You know, the, the Lord said that uh, uh, if he didn't have a remnant from the earth, we'd all be a Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, and, right. we know, and we know what happened there. Vice cities got blown off the map. Right. And it's still, it's, there's still uh, uh, a science. They got the, uh, the sulfur in the earth. You could go over there today, grab it, and, and, and take the dust off and burn it. And, you know? And, 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 and it looks like, you know, I saw this video. You know, this dude, he was, uh, he, had, he had went out there uh, many, many times. He had went out there many times, many times, and, and, and actually uh, was, was, was excavating and looking around and stuff like that. And you can actually see where, where, the, where, where it says it's a rain uh, brim, uh, saw, uh, brimstone. It actually looks on the rock, it looks like rain. Meaning, like, it, it, it rained rocks and whatever, you know, but 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 it, it was hot and it was just like like dri like dripping down the rock, man. Stripped out, like when you look at it, man. But anyways, uh, I think they found a uh, uh, large part of uh, 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 the song. Yeah. So it's real. It's out there. Yeah. I got that. I got that in. Uh, oh, we can see this. But are we done with that? Oh, okay. Okay. It says uh, verse twenty-one. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of the most high in him yeah yeah con con hey yeah the, the you know the lord actually died for the sins of the election man you know which will bring back the elect so all elect is uh, all israel's gonna be gonna come back man uh, you know what greater power you know is there man there's no other greater power than that man. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that when his souls is wise. Right, right, right. The, uh, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. You know, you want to bring forth fruit, you know, worthy of repentance, worthy of acceptation in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, you, you want to look at your walk, you want to look at yourself and say, you know what, when the Lord gets back, I, I came in the world, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm leaving a butterfly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he who is uh, wise shall win souls, man. You know, gathering the elect, building up the house of David, building up this 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 spiritual temple. That's what it's all about: teaching, giving back, giving back what was given to you. And and, and I'm gonna say this: to an extent, hey, don't worry about those who are gonna perish. Hey, worry about the election, man. Worry about the righteous. That's who we really want to, uh, you know, be reunited with, man. You know, Yahweh Shai, the Most High, Yahweh Shai, the, 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 the prophets, the election, man. Yeah. And that's why Yahweh Shai made that comment, bro. Who is my mother? Who is my brother? Them that yeah. do the will of my father, man. Right? So that's the only people we're caring for, man. I'm only looking for brothers' backs, man. Because I know brothers got my back. You know, and I know, you know, it's like Yahweh Shai said, man. Uh, when I was in, uh, in hunger, you fed me. When I needed shelter, you gave me shelter. We're always looking out for each other, man. Yeah. I got yeah. It. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 13. It reads, And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, mm -hmm. who's the world, who the world is, and for whom the world is created. Right, for whom the world is and for whom the world was created. Inquire about that. You know? Uh, I know the, uh, a lot of elders be speaking about speak, speak life. That, you know, the Spirit has had me thinking about speak life, man. Forget about all this BS, man. Forget about all the hardships and all that shit, man. It's, it's time to speak life, man. You know, and, and ultimately, the Spirit has, you know, we go into the prophecy, but we speak about the life afterwards, man. You know what I'm saying? There will come a salvation after the after the great judgment, you know, that is coming upon the earth. Like, like it says right here in verse 15, I have said before and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of 
then we should be saved. Come on. Come on. That, hey, that, that's, 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 that's a scary thing, man. And this is written in the Bible. You're not going to hear these verses, you know, in, in, uh, in, um, in church, man. But we're, we're going to tell you, man, there's going to be many more that are going to perish than those that are going to be saved. Okay, so what, who do you, what side do you want to be in? Right. You know, a lot of right. Jake, you know, it, it's funny, man. You know, a lot of, you know, the scriptures say that people have a, a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. But if you knew anything, man, hey, you'd know that the, 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 the Bible speaks about uh, 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 people dying. Right? Does, does not, does not the, the scriptures say that the, the, that the most high is going to send his, his son to judge the world? But what, 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 what you people thinking, man? This is Isaiah 66 and 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Come on. Come on. Hey, the Lord's going to plead with you? Let's look at that word plead. Uh, if you want to get, you can get a simple definition. That's, you know, in the blue letter. But hey, that's how the Lord's going to talk to you, man. You know, because because the, the time to repentance is now. You know, and, 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 and men are set up to tell you and to tell one another. Hey, brother, look, hey, look, let's go this route. Let's not go that route. Hey, let's do this, let's do that. Hey, we should be doing this, man, not, 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 not what we used to be doing. All right? But people don't want to hear that. God, so the word is Shabbat in the Hebrew, and it's to judge, to govern, to vindicate, and to punish. To punish. To execute judgments. Damn. Yeah, that's what the Lord's going to do. When, when, hey, when Yahushai comes, man, it ain't going to be what people think. It ain't going to be, uh, 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 you know, oh, oh the Lord's going to save all the little ones. You know, I've heard people tell me that. All the little kids are going to go to heaven. Like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> who's buried in Hey, give me Isaiah 9, 3. <clears throat> people have it misconstrued, man. You know, the, 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 the Heavenly Father it is, uh, will not pervert justice, man. Ain't gonna be no, 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 no justice, uh, you know. It's gonna be a just reward for every person upon this earth. It ain't gonna be, you did some wickedness, right? You gonna skate off into the into the sunset, man. You know, or you did something righteous and you're not gonna get no reward. The Lord is not like that, man. You know, what does the scripture say? So the Lord is not a, a just to remember that I works of love. Exactly. So the Lord is a just power. A lot of y'all people don't 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 really understand who you serve. You don't really understand the Most High and His Son. Uh, uh, okay. But, you know the scriptures say, uh, "From from my people know not; they understand not judgment." Man. Hey, shit! There's a scripture in Isaiah 55 where it says that my thoughts are not like your thoughts. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Right. He's in a different dimension, man. So we're not gonna comprehend a lot of the things that the Lord is gonna, you know. Well, people are not going to comprehend these things. We are. Yeah. Because we're in the know. You know, like this whole thing about, you know, killing a bunch of kids, women. That sounds fucking atrocious to somebody. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. That's not God. God is not violent. Yeah, He is. Yeah. God is the ultimate violence force in this world, man. He creates all that shit. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking about some wicked shit, the Lord gave, gave that, that, that thought, man. Because it all comes from Him. I agree. He's the source. He's the fountain. I create evil. Yeah, man. Hey, if you could give me uh, uh, my people know not judgment. What are you brothers about Kishan? I got that. Okay, come on. Go ahead. Okay, God, this is uh, Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord creates peace and the Lord creates evil. He creates light. He creates darkness. You see? And, and, and you're not going to be afraid of a power like that. You're not going to hearken to a message like that, Shh. spoken by men who, or, who were never went to school, but they can put it together like that and make it make sense, make it plain upon tables. I mean, come on now, man. You know, hey, we're 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 we're, we're the you know, we're we're warning you before you get jacked up. Yeah, yeah. You know, so hey, we do this for hopefully we don't get jacked up. That's right. Bro. Yeah, you got that? Yeah, come on. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 9 and uh, verse 4, it reads, uh, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, yeah. and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, yep. for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, and that mark is, is basically, you know, uh, 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 a 
sign of exemption, man. Meaning, you know, that in that day when, when, when the Lord comes with the angels, man, you know, certain men, they're not going to be judged. You know, certain certain uh, 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 Israelites, okay, they're they're not going to be judged. Set a mark on the foreheads of those that sign crying. You're supposed to be signed and crying for the things that are happening. You know, for the injustices of our people, for the oppressor that's ruling over us, and even signing and crying for your own wickedness. How about that? Yeah, think about that. You know, hey, even for our own sake, we sign and cry, say, Lord, we need you. We need you as well. Our people need you. You know what I'm saying? Shit, bro, you got camps out here that are talking about building the whole fucking nation. I ain't trying to build no fucking nation, bro. A lot of these fucking two thirds. They don't deserve to even be part of that nation, bro. Mm -hmm. When you put it in context, you know. That's right, brother. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Verse 5. And to the others he said in mine hearing, uh -huh. Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, right. neither have ye pity. See, the, hey, the angels are not going to have, they're not going to spare, they're not going to have pity. You know, if, if you didn't get this word, if you didn't, if you didn't maintain it, you're going to be put to death, whether, whether you be a male, a female, a, 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 a young woman, or a young, a young, a young boy, or a baby. You know, that fat ass ain't going to help you on that day, bro. Right. Angel ain't trying to fuck no bitch, man. Angel's trying to fucking cut heads off, man. Yeah. Or chop off a fucking arm. And angel's trying to make you suffer, man. That's right. Right. He's going to what? He's going to. Uh, uh, I think it says uh, they're, they're coming with the wrath of the Lord, man. Yeah. At that point, see, at that point. You know, hey, that, that that's that's a judgment. Yeah. Uh, if you could give me the scripture, it says in Acts, it says, um, um, that the Lord will judge the, the God will judge the world by that man who will be appointed. So that's that effect. Go ahead, uh, uh yeah. Like the brother said, man, it says have no pity. So there's not no pity of how, how beautiful you look or how many hours you spend on your makeup. None of that shit, man. All right, you're handicapped, whatever. All right, it's about it's about you uh, serving the Lord, seeking Him. Ten times more. If you really want, uh, that, if you want pity, man, that's 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 the way to go about it. Not the other way. Yeah, it's like it. It's like it. Well, them angels is terrible, man. Yeah. I think there's an account when when you know, Samson's mom met one of the angels. She said she was terrified when she looked upon him, man. These are rough men, rough young men. The angel that got down with uh, with the Lord. Oh no. The Lord had to stop him with David uh, did yeah. the census. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah. The angel was. was, was to the upwards of 200,000, I believe, since it's out of fact. Damn. One angel. And yeah, the Lord's coming with what? Thousands, thousands of angels? So if yeah. somebody can get that fucking shot. Seven legions. Uh, uh, Ezekiel 9 and uh, 6. It says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Both utterly old. Maids and children, man, you know, that that's what the Bible is speaking about. So when we come out here, okay, and we and we speak the Bible, man, we speak the good, or, or I, better, I should say the bitter, and we also speak the sweet. We, 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 we bring it all out so you can get a, 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 um, a, a full understanding, if you will. You know, we, hey, we declare, uh, uh, we don't uh, shun to declare you the whole gospel, man, the whole word of the Lord. Can you give me that in Acts? Gotcha. This is uh, the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 31. It says, Because he have appointed a day. Go, go up a verse, I think. Con, con. Uh, Acts 17 and 30, it says, And the times of this ignorance, uh, the Most High winked at. Right. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Right. Hey, there was a time where the Most High would wink at shit. Okay, but now this was written in the times when, uh, uh, you know, when, when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, and, the, and to the times of when he was not on the scene, right? It but said, now he committed all men to repent, so the Lord ain't weakened no more, man. You know, the the the, the internet is is, is 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 a fully functioning uh, service on your phone. Okay, the word is going out. You see, you know, and we started the the lesson. We started the lesson with with, with that same. That's those same scriptures, man. That the word is going out. So you gotta, you know, hey, repent. And repenting is a, a daily thing, man. You gotta repent daily, man. 
Because that's that Romans 13, well, waking up from that deep sleep, you know, knowing the time that we're in right now, man. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, the, the time is running really fucking short, man. Yeah, it is. That bomb is about to fucking, you know, run out of that little that's light big. that is that, yeah. going to make it blow up, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit's about to hit the fence, man. A lot of people ain't gonna be ready for this shit, man. I mean, the brothers just going into uh, Isaiah's the ninth, uh, Ezekiel the ninth chapter, bro. The angels ain't gonna have pity for anyone, bro. You're gonna have fucking troops marching around these fucking streets, bro. And these ain't gonna be no American troops. They're gonna be fucking troops from uh, out of the country and shit, bro. Motherfuckers that are speaking that mumbo jumbo bullshit, man. Right. You ain't even gonna you ain't gonna be able to communicate with these fuckers, man. Right. The scriptures in Isaiah say that these uh these meats are not gonna regard gold or silver, bro. That's right, that's right. So that that just gives you a vision of the type of uh scenario we're gonna be living in, bro. Right. America's gonna be conquered by that time. Yeah, America's gonna be conquered, man. If there's troops marching down the street, America's conquered already. Yeah. You know, you got a lot of people who don't want to go into the military anymore. Yeah, you know. And this is what this whole message is about, bro. And it's like we said, you know, you got camps out there that are not prepping up the people for all this shit, man. We got one duty, man, and this is the duty. Right, brother. Come on. Uh, verse 31, Acts 17 and 31, it says, because you have appointed a day. Can you run the other? Run yeah, the back to verse 30, please. Come on. Uh, Acts 17 and 30, it says, and the times of, the, of this ignorance, the most high winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent says because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness the, see that the lord hey the most High is going to send his son to judge the world in righteousness it's righteous thing for the heavenly father okay to to, to condemn somebody to death you see because the lord has laws some laws okay are, are not worthy of death and some laws are you see just like the laws of the land here get a ticket you know some you serve community service some you serve a day some they'll, they'll send you up for 20 years and then some you'll get put to death okay hey that's how we know that these laws were modeled after the bible the, 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 the law of the most high the bible is a supreme book of rule okay this is, it's a perfect book to go and and, and, and to judge things yeah, that makes me think about the book of eli when the has the book he's like it's because there's power yeah. in this yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean it's true there's power in this man this is the only way to actually govern a society bro yeah. this is the only way to have you know people under your subjection bro yep. through the law statutes and commandments of the bible man yeah. and this is only for one people like you like saying brother it's only for the israelites right yeah. hey you know what brother and, and you know what and that dude knew that in that movie yeah he yeah. knew that bro he yeah. knew and that's what he wanted the Bible for. He wanted it to build another society and just uh, deceive the people with it. Yeah. And that's what Esau did. Yeah. He took the Bible, yeah. put the word Jesus in there, told you that he was part of, uh, 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 he, was the, he was the Gentiles that were able to, to come back. That's what he did with the Bible, man. But see, the Lord has set up the true understanding. He has opened up the understanding, okay, to men in these last days, and the men are gonna give you the understanding. That's that that's that's the message that, that you know that's what we come out here that's what we're doing. Letting you know the true understanding of the word, man. Okay? You're 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 a, uh, a holy people, man. A separate people, man. Okay? Uh, yeah, uh finishing out the scripture, it says uh by that, I'm gonna start verse at verse 31 at the top. It says, Because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness, mm -hmm. by that man. Whom he, uh, whom he hath ordained. Right. That's the how it shines, bro. Hey, when we call Jesus Christ. Yep. It says, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, in that he hath raised him from the dead. You see that? So, hey, we're telling you that, hey, that, that there's no things impossible, man. The Messiah raised from the dead. And a lot of people didn't believe that back then, but we we believe it. We believe that that how shy raised from the dead, man. You see. And we believe that, and it is written, so that we may also have a hope that whether in life and death, we also will be raised up, man. That's that's what uh, 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 um, that's what type of faith we have, you know. That hey, no matter what happens, whatever our lot it is, okay, then we're still gonna believe in, in Yahweh Shai. He is the go-between between men and 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 and, and uh, the most high. Okay. 
And us brothers did raise up from the dead. Yeah, because we're living fulfillment of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, man. We are those dry bones, man. We are those bones and you know, those bodies being put back together to, you know, stand like a fucking standing army and preach, man. Right. And, and, and part of being dead, if I may say, part of being dead is being dead to the world. You know, we, we were saying that when we were coming up here, hey, your phone ain't going to ring like that. You know, your, 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 door ain't gonna get, your door ain't gonna be getting knocked on like that no more. You know, the girlies, they don't, they don't see you the same anymore. Why? Because you've given your life to this, to this word. So they can look at you in a weird way, like, like you, don't, you don't belong. And, you, and you're right. Essentially, we don't belong. This is Colossians 3 and 3. For ye are dead. That's right. And your life is hid with Hamashiach Yahabashai in God. Right. And we brought that out last week. Right? We brought that out to see that. And we brought that out of, uh, 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 at the street speaking last week as well. You know, our lives are hid in Yahabashai. We spoke about uh, 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 the brother brought out in Psalms 91. Those that dwell in the secret place of the Most High, the Lord's going to cover them, man. And that's when we, 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 we beseech people, man. We tell you, hey, this is where you want to be. Okay? You know, hey, that's okay if the world don't know you like that. That's all right. You know what I mean? You know, oftentimes, because Jake had that, 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 you know, we got that spirit in this thing, you know. Everybody want to be the man. You know, brother, brother, elders have said, everybody, everybody want to be that dude. Their hands is raised up. And everybody around them like, yeah, you know, applauding your name. And this. But ultimately, man, we're going to get that in the kingdom. Right, we're gonna get that when the Lord comes back. But now, now hey, you know, now is the time to labor. It's the time to go through the straight gate, the sufferings, man. You know, that's that's ultimately what 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 uh what it takes. Because the world likes it easy. The world likes, you know. Everybody wanna uh cut corners, man. We, hey, it's not like that for the men of the world. Yeah, we get blessed. Yeah, things are, 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 are alleviated, our paths are, you know, are opened up and whatnot, you know, but the, the, the world just gets carefree. Yeah, we got a job to do, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we go to work, and then what do you do after work? You go back to work. You know? <coughs> this is Luke 6 and 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. And shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil. Shit, bro, and we know that in the world there's one group of men that are hated by everybody, brother. It starts with the apostles on down, man. First and foremost, like I wish I said, it is me they hate, not you. You know, but they hate this message that we're bringing out, man. Nobody want to hear this, bro. It sounds boring to people. Yes, man. Y'all crazy, man. I ain't trying to hear no conspiracy theories. Bro, on Saturday, bro, you gonna go teach the Bible, bro? Like, what? You crazy? Bro, like, yeah. man. Yeah, I, I, I hate yeah. to say that, like that. Why can't it be on a Sunday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it during the week, man. You know? It's like, motherfucker, we're 24 7 on this, man. Yeah. Right. We live it, we eat it, we shit it. I mean, I don't say, I don't mean to say we shit it, but, you know, that's how the saying goes. Right. We're, all, we're, we're 100 about this, man. This is all we care about. This is all we think about, man. We know what's coming. And that's what we want. Like the brother mentioned earlier, we're seeking for worlds without ends, man. I want to see the galaxies, bro, yeah. the universe, man. That's right. I want to live in righteousness, bro. I want to have right. a fucking built up, chiseled body, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be a fucking god, bro. Right. For real, man. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what we're looking for, man. Uh, Ain't no camp out there talking about these things, bro. Right, yeah. Camps don't talk about spiritual power. Uh -huh. They don't talk about all this amazing stuff, man, that the yeah. Lord has in this book. Right. Right. That's why people are dead everywhere else, bro. Yeah, that's right. Congregation of the dead. That's how I call these other Israelite groups, man. Uh, and the things we suffer, man, we're in good company because that's what they did to all of our forefathers, you know? Yeah. Just like it says right here, verse 23. Shit, bro, the Lord said we're lively stones, man. Yeah. Ain't no lively stones out there in those other camps, bro. Yeah. Ain't, ain't nobody teaching like you know, all the men of great wisdom teach you, right? Yeah, there's a certain spirit, you know, because even though we open up, what do we say? Hey, that's hey, that's invoking the Holy Spirit to come and dwell, bro. We're asking the Lord, hey, bring the Holy Spirit among us. You know, that's that's the when the when Apostle Tohar when he said that, I thought that was very spiritual. Holy Spirit, I know brothers thought the same, but I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah that's true, brother. Invoking the name of the Spirit. He says, rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy, for behold. 
your reward is great in heaven. Luke 6 and 22, blessed are ye where men shall hate you. So we're, we're ultimately being blessed right now, man. We're in a very uh, a privileged position, being in this position, man. Because the Lord is looking at us with good eyes right now. That's all right, man. I got you. Yeah. You know? So fuck all these people, man. Because they're, they're, theirs is coming, bro. Yeah. Theirs is coming. Okay. So we're blessed at the end of the day, bro. If, if I may say, the scriptures say, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. Right, right, Because right. you are not right. of the world. Matter of fact, we've got to get that. Yeah. Could you get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Huh? All right. It says, uh, when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. And that's happened, right? You yeah. Know, the man that yeah. we thought was going to ride to the end, you know, now we're, we're, we're strangers and shit, bro. Yeah. And that's what the world becomes. As, as you progress in this truth, you become stranger and stranger to it. To the to the point where you when you do link up with those people, you don't even know what the fuck to talk about, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't talk about the folly no more. You don't do none of that shit no more. Because you're, you're walking a different way. Yeah. So, like, you, you really don't even have anything in common with these people. Yeah, they got you thinking you're feeling some type of way that you're the weird one. Nah, yeah. motherfucker, it's you. You're, you're right feeling here. awkward and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you gotta watch what you say. That's funny you said that, bro. Yeah. No, that's funny you said that because it's true. Yeah. You, you, know, you go around a bunch of people and, 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 and they just look at you like this dude. Weird. So really, you're the weird one. That's beautiful you said that. Kind of you all are weird. Yeah, brother. You're like, how, how, you know? Like, bro, these are the words of the most high we're following. But wait, what are you? What are you talking about, bro? Yeah, because you really got to put that into, into play, bro, where the scriptures say, uh, negate everything, baby. Say, fuck everything. Fuck the world, bro. What do you have with Shai tell? They say, he that hated not his mother, his father, or his, you know, his, his, his own life cannot be my disciple, bro. You see, because you can't carry the cross, man. And there's things that are going to happen in this truth that, that if you're holding on to certain things in your in your previous life, yeah. it, it's going to fuck you up, man. Yeah. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put you in a situation where you don't want to be in that situation, bro. You, you really won't grow like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you grow when you when you, when you start, when you, hey, apply your how was shy. Yeah. Apply these words. That's when you start to really grow. When you start to say, you know what? Hey, this ain't working for me. I got to change this, man. I got I to gotta mix this around. I got to, you know, I got to do this. I got to do that. That's when you start to understand, you start to grow a little bit. Okay, cool, man. I'm starting to see, okay, cool, you know what I mean? That's why the apostles, uh, they, they push heavily into uh, being like a babe when you come into this group, bro. Because what does a baby do? A baby just wants to eat milk. Mm -hmm. baby don't know what the fuck's going on. He doesn't have discernment from right or wrong. That's right. You know? He's waiting to get fed. And that's, there's there's stages to it, too, yeah, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, did a, I did a video about that. First. <laughs> you know, the baby first starts with, with what? He starts drinking the milk. Then he develops himself into eating uh, uh, larger uh, uh, proteins. You know, but in that in that process, man, what happens? He has scrapes, he has cuts. Yeah. You know, he, oh, yeah. he bumps his head <laughs> many, many times and right. shit. Yeah. And that's that's what this truth really is, man. You know, it's a learning experience. Right, you right. know, and as you you uh, spend more time in it, you become a little bit more smooth with it. Right. Yeah. You know, you, you you might you might not stumble as much as you did before. You know, the 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 the, the, the hard bumps become yeah. less and less yeah. frequent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you first come into it, you you be Sometimes you get on yourself harder than anybody else. Right. Well, that's because it's... Yeah. So this is Hebrews uh, 12 and 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with a so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's so much things that can hinder you, all right? There's, there's so many traps and obstacles to the left and to the right of you, pulling you at all different sides. Hey, you got to run with patience, man. You see what I'm saying? There's people that are watching, witnesses. You have proclaimed this name to, to, to many people. The Lord sees that. So run it with patience because He's going to be with you. Don't faint. That's what we always tell one another, man. Don't faint, man. You know what I'm saying? This is part of the... Uh, 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 anything and everything can happen to you in this gospel, man. Whenever the Lord wants to, 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 to ultimately to come upon you as a test, as a trial, it'll happen if He wanted to. But, you know, make not haste. Make not haste because, uh, you know, like Paul said, man, it's, 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 it's more profitable for us to be teaching the Word or than us to be with Yahweh Shai. So while you're here, be patient, you know? We must be patient, you know? Uh, 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 learn, learn, learn that suffering is a, is a part of it. Humiliations, you know, 
trials, tribulations, just, just all manner of different things, man. And that's ultimately how you grow. You know, the scriptures say that uh, you have to be uh, exercised to discern both good and evil. How are you going to do that if you ain't been through nothing? You got to go through different things, man. A lot of different things. How are you going to know about something you ain't ever been through? And, and not only that, but now you're going through it because you have the truth. Though. So now you're getting wisdom on these things. That's something I have to get caught, bro. Uh, scripture says, woe well, unto us if we lose patience, you know, back up. Uh, this is Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. I'm right? just trying to get you understanding, you know, how to obtain what you're looking for, what you know to be the crown, right? The scripture says, ask not for too much that we can forget them, your father, right? Or ask not for too little that you can start robbing the demon, man. But the point is to not to get not to forget the heavenly father, man. Right? Because when you're done. You run this race to obtain. Otherwise, you just punch out the air, like uh, like Paul said. Uh, he doesn't punch out the air. He punches for a purpose. All right. So the brother lays you up uh, with that purpose, what you need to continue to run this race. Right? And that's really how uh, the outlook should be right now, right? Every 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 decision is crucial right now. Yeah. We're at the crunch time, man. Right? It's like we're in the championship rounds. Every punch. Because you're already tired, yeah. you know, you've been through it already, you've been through the rugged. Well, now, now every punch, you have to be very calculated with it, man. Yeah. And that's that's what the Lord is requiring of us at these latter days. Right. We got to we gotta know what time we're here, man. Yeah, how which I always talked about that. You know, discerning the times. Days are evil. Days are evil, man. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, man. That's right. Right. You got something? Uh, I, I was holding this for you. Go ahead. Bring it out. Uh, John 15 and, uh, and 18. It says, uh, I'll start at verse 7, it said, 17. It says, these things I command you, that you love one another. Mm -hmm. It says, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world will love its own. Right, right. So if you're, if you're part of the if, if you're part of the world, the world's going to accept you, man. You see, because because uh, the things that are highly esteemed among men are an abomination to you. How about Shimei Shai? And, and men... Men that are in the flesh, if you sit back and listen to what men are talking about, they're esteeming a bunch of BS, man. Culture, yeah. Wickedness. Drugs. Drugs. You know, uh, uh, all manner of, of, of just uh, unwise things, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just different types of conduct, man. You know? But if you were of the world, the world would accept you. So when you're not, when you're not being accepted by the world, you know, then, then you know, just just know, man. Hey, just, just know that hey, the Lord has separated you, man. There's a reason for that. But at times you sit back and you wonder, like, hey, man, like, like come on, I can't gain friends at work, man. Like, you know what I'm saying, like, why do I feel like it's me and them? You know, I don't know, brother. You know, brothers feel like that sometimes. You know? Like, hey, like, everybody, everybody eat lunch together, and you just see the cards. You know? <laughs> all silent and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, well, the Lord's doing you a service. He's he's like, no, 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 no. I, I, I need you over here. Let them do them, brothers. Hey, let them do them, man. Hey, we, we got to do this, man. It's a lonely walk, man. The apostles have always told us that, man. Because you know, you're soldiering up. You're a soldier, man. You you know, you, you you by yourself in this thing. But you know, you got brothers. But you know, you're gonna you're gonna bear your own burden, man. It says, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That, and that's, that, that, that's, that's crucial right there. You were chosen out of the world. Okay? And, and, and trust and believe that, 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 that people, they see that. They see something like you know something. Man. You're not going to come out here and teach the word and go back one day and be like, they're going to be like, what's up with this guy? You know what I mean? But what were you doing? Like, believe it, brothers. You're not gonna go and do videos and lessons, get anointed by brothers at the Passover, and they're gonna just be like, "Yeah, come on." They're gonna be like, "Ah, I don't know about this guy." Like, and I, 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 I say it in a joking manner, but trust and believe. You know, that you, you know that they, they, they see you as different. You know, go ahead. Just like this brother brought out the example about uh, you know when Moses was in the presence of the Lord, bro. Moses' face was shining, man. So whenever we, you know, come from like one of these, uh, you know, holy festivities that we celebrate, that we partake on, you 
know, there's a certain energy that's attached to us, man. And the people in the world see it. They see that light, bro. That's why, that's why you're talking about all that separation. It's just different. Yeah. Yeah. So how much are we, right when we gather, how much I come from, you know, this, 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 right? There's a, 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 that lingers even when we need it. Right, the, 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 the word. You don't conduct yourself the, the, the same because, you, you know, you're reverting back to the word. Like, okay, so this situation is appearing in front of me. What do I do? You revert back to the word. People are just... Nah, man, we're gonna take a step back and be like, okay, cool. You know, this certain, this certain happened. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let me, let me. The scriptures say this. Let me, let me do this. And people, they, they're kind of put off by that. Okay, you know, because they don't operate in, and that ultimately makes them feel a certain type of way, and it's gonna go into them. God, it says, God, verse uh, John 15 and 19 says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. The world hates you because the Lord chose you out of the world. I'm, hey, look at vocab. Why do you think vocab is fighting tooth and nail, bro? Because he feels like he ain't a part of this, man. He feels like he ain't gonna be saved, man. He could do all the videos he want, but low key, somewhere in the back of his mind, he's like, wait a minute, bro. What if these dudes is right? What if I did it? What if I'm not chosen, bro? And that's why he fight, and that's why, you know, he feel a certain type of way, because ultimately, a lot of people, you know, they, 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 they uh, you know, they feel like, you know what, hey, man, maybe this dude is, is, is on to something, man. You know? And this word is coming out more and more. People are being, starting to be more and more, uh, 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 uh <laughs> what do you say, uh, uh, you know, it's starting to be more uh, presented, you know, for lack of words. It's starting to be more accustomed, starting to become a household name. The, 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 the election, the, the Israelites, man, hey, they, you know, there's going to come a time where we're, we're you know, when brothers start getting that praise and that fame, start going to be noise, noise abroad, who's, the, who's speaking the truth, people are going to be seeing it, you know, and they see it low-key by the way they, uh, you conduct yourself, and, 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 bro, the scriptures say, man, hey, those that do evil, uh, you know, they're, they're evil, and a lot of our people are evil, man, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know? You sit back and listen to some of these people, what they do, you be like, damn, bro, like, for real? No, 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 no thought about it. No, 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 no regret. No nothing. Like, well, you know, the, you know, there's some crazy stories, man. Like, shit, you know, even the people, even when you were in the world, you, you know, some of the crazy people you kicked it with or whatever, you're like, damn, I ain't that crazy. <laughs> That's all, there's a reason for all that, man. You know? Even if he was that crazy, you weren't that crazy. <laughs> it, was the, it was like a cat that you had, you know? You know, yeah, we kept us from doing some some evil shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause even even in the world, we had a hedge problem. Right? Yep. We have a rallies, you know, because you like even back in the world, you moved a little different than you, your ordinary ass Jake, right? You know? Come. That's right. Um. That's, that's it. Oh, that's it. Come. We're gonna get to that scripture now, so. Right. So. Uh. We'll get this last scripture and then we'll, we'll, you know, this is Revelations 14 and 4. God. It says, These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Huh. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. You see that? The elect are not defiled with other philosophies, man. They're the women of the Most High. They're a spouse to the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? And they're not, and they follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. And, and, and trust and believe, man, that, you know, you were set up. You're part of the elect men, which we aspire to be. You were set up on the foundation of the world, and you actually came into this thing at the right time. Everything that has befallen you has befallen you to set you up in this time, in this position, right now, in the truth. Okay? Even in the world, believe it or not. Even in the world, if you were part of the elect, you were the elect, but you didn't know, but now you know. And you, 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 you literally were following the path. You were going through what you had to go through. Because the, the, the Yahweh Shai, he knew you. He had his eye on you. Okay? So this is Revelations 14 and 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which followed the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. Woo! You see that? 
these were redeemed from among men an election. 144,000 that that governing body has, you know, as we always say, they were redeemed from among men, the first fruits. They were the best of their kind, the best of their class. Okay, not of the world, but of what in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh they're going to be found with no guile, blameless, faultless, man. Okay, and that's why, and, and, and that's why, <laughs> you know, we tell you, man, if you hear this word, make no tarry to turn to the Lord. This is the side you want to be on, so to speak. But the times is evil, and, and the prophecies are coming to pass. The judgment is at hand. You know, repent and serve your power, you so-called blacks, you Latinos, you Native Americans, those of you that can receive it. Okay, this is a. Uh, go ahead, brother. Uh, so like it, before you close it out, uh, just going into the repentance, man. Let me get this in Hosea real quick. It says, uh, Hosea 14, verse 1, it says, O Israel, return unto the Lord thy power, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. It says, Take with you, uh, take with you words and turn to the Lord Yahweh, say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So we will render the calves of our lips. It says, Assured shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses, neither will we say any more to the work of our hands, ye are up, ye are our gods. You know, so you're not gonna be worshiping these idols. Right. You see? You're gonna put away all of those things and you're gonna fully <laughs> repent, okay, and come back to the Lord and worship him in spirit and in truth. It says, Ye are our gods, for in thee the fatherless findeth mercy. Verse 4, and this is the point, it says, I will heal their backsliding. This is what Yahweh is, this is what Yahweh is saying to you, man. Yeah. It says, I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. Huh? For my anger is turned away from him, man. Ooh. So those that come back to repentance, hey, you're going to turn away the anger of the Lord. That's right. Brother. And you're going to receive mercy, man. What right. the brother was talking to, he, he, he was saying, we, we got to speak life, man. We got to speak repentance. Okay, we got to speak victory. And we got we to gotta speak mercy unto our people. And the scriptures let you know, hey, if you repent, come back to the Lord, he will heal you, man. Yeah. And he will have mercy on you, and it, and it will turn away the Lord's anger and wrath from you. That's right. That's right, brother. All right, so uh, this has uh, been uh, Great Muscle in Arizona, another uh, camp speaking, okay, another Saturday. All right, and a uh, special visitor from uh, Los Angeles, the brother Yeshaya with us. Bro, when you found this lesson edifying, okay, the, hey, the Heavenly Father is on his way, man. Okay, so make no turn to turn to the Lord, right? Because the days are very much evil, man. And this is where you can find the protection of salvation. Okay, in times of need, in times of need, life is true. That's right, right? So again, these are the you know the hopeful election. You know, they pray for us. I will pray for you. Oh Lord, willing you edify it again. We want to give all praise, honor. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and a sincere salutation to you, Akim, and all you Akwaf that believe in all sincerity. Shalom. 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 Shalom.